It's so negligible. I don't even bother about them because they cannot scratch a piece. Whatever they write or whatever they do cannot scratch this airline. But it happened yesterday. And when the woman discovered that she was livid with rage, I mean the MD of farm. So I but look at what I did. I called my operation control center who could reach the pilot because I couldn't connect with the pilot. I called my, my OCC. They, I told them, tell that pilot not to move that aircraft. Block that, wrong, block that taxiway. No airline in, in the world would have been able to pack yesterday. And that was what happened. British Airways landed. It, that was when they started making moves to tell us to go to where we rightly belonged. And remember, this woman had said on television, they had that, when she said that a place had been dedicated for EPIs as the home airline. When you go to Britain, you have an entire Terminal 5 yeah. Yeah. for beer. <clears throat> then in my own country, some civil servants or some people didn't see. And the DG of the Nigerian Civil Aviation Authority was on board my aircraft. About four senior staff of NCA were on board of that aircraft. And he had to go because they delayed the flight about 30 minutes, standing in one place for 30 minutes. What kind of country is this? So when the DG who was on board contacted the captain to know what is happening, and he, I think he went into the cockpit, and they called the people in tower, the airport control people. And the captain told the airport control that even the DG of NCA is on board this aircraft. And the guy said, and so what? That will show you okay. some people's determination not to, they don't see beyond their noses. The, where that wickedness will not last. And I guess on a year I'm right. This is pathetic. This is so sad. Okay, at this moment now, uh, Epi's boss, you know, uh, Alan Oyema is facing a lot of stress from his own country, Nigeria, and he's facing a lot of stress from international body, UK, uh, as well. So, you know what that means? You know, he went on by saying, which is the other one that I'm going to play right now, that their mission is to take him out of the business. You know, they are trying to take him out of the business. Let's listen to the other video here. Maybe you will understand much better on this. Conspiracy. Uh, all of a sudden, people are under, uh, airlines are underpricing. Underpricing that is below the cost. Yes, in the space of one month. Yes, not up to a month. One other airline was advertising hundred dollars. Another one three hundred and five dollars, three fifty dollars. This, if you fill up the entire aircraft and carry people on the wings, it's not even enough to buy your fuel. So why are they doing that? Their governments are supporting them. Their governments are supporting them because Nigeria has been a cash cow for everybody. The governments are supporting them. They so come that, here, they flee the country, yeah, and they even yeah. have opportunity to fly just around the country. Yes. The so way that, we will not, as a, as a doing Nigeria, their country. you not do that. So the, their governments are supporting them to do this and take a piece out. The idea is to take a piece out. And the moment they succeed in taking a piece out, Nigerians will pay 20 times over once again. It's going to happen if, God forbid, they're able to take a piece out. Because what is happening now is scary. And of course, even in Gatwick, where you are, are you given 100% uh, cooperation? Let me tell you this. On the first day, on the first day, on the inaugural flight out of London. The painful part of all this is that if this man, they manage, like he said, they manage to take him out. Now, you and I go see so far this thing. You don't go affect him. He go carry all his plane. He go set them. The international ones, he go send them, he go to do locally, that is, uh, uh, fly across Nigeria as they do before. Just imagine, he mentioned the word that I always use here, that they are waiting for him to fail. Like I always, you guys know I use that word all the time. That some satanic set of people who that you join us or you are listening to us, what they are looking for, they are just patiently waiting for you to fail. Billionaires did they cry? Yes, not the only poor people they cry. Billionaires, see how they cry. This man have been crying now for the past couple of weeks. 
In fact, he has been crying for the past couple of years. Which you and I don't know. Now, recently, we call the year he cried now, right? They are doing everything possible. They are fighting him in Nigeria. They are fighting him in the United Kingdom. They are fighting him everywhere. He's literally alone right now. Other airlines have reduced their air price drastically. BA that were flying from 1,005, 1,004 uh, 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 pounds have reduced it to 300 pounds, 200 and something pounds, 100 and something pounds. Just, just imagine. Why normally, where they grow, come and they hear this popular saying that say, if outside they pursue you, they go. Now, house you go wrong, come, right? But why can't be say outside they pursue Aleno Yema? How still they pursue him at the same time? Now, something bad this man do say, making rescue Nigerians from paying exorbitant price on air, on, on flights. Now, batting, why do we hate ourselves so much? Why do we hate ourselves so much? It's, it's crazy. I don't know how to understand. I'm, I, it's, I, in fact, let's finish this video. Because what is happening now is scary. And of course, even in Gatwick where you are, are you given 100% uh, cooperation? Let me tell you this. On the first day, on the first day, on the inaugural flight out of London, 24 hours to the time, they moved us to another check-in area other than the place assigned to us. The place they gave us, the carousel was not working. So in, when you check in people, you need to manually carry the load to go from 50 meters away to go and drop it somewhere else just to delay you. No other airline faced that. Your operation. Exactly, no other airline faced that. And the fact that... They can that even use your grand handlers. They didn't even allow you to... They didn't allow, permit you to, to land in Heathrow. To of course, of course. That, that one is, uh, they will tell you no slot. Even even Gatwick, when we got to Gatwick, we now said, okay, let us take Gatwick. They say, oh, no slot available. When we pushed and pushed, they gave us a scattered slot. Today, 3 p.m., next day, 2 a.m., the next day. Who does that? This is sad. This is very, very sad. You know? Uh, to be honest, my people, I would like us to move on. Let me post out a link. You know, uh, someone just drew my attention now to our title. Uh, I'm so sorry that we did put that properly. Let me quickly sort that out. Yeah, thank you very much. I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, sometimes when you are rushing like this, things like this happen. <laughs> you know, thank you. Now, God, God bless you now, my people. I appreciate every one of you. Um, yes, this is one of the things we, we like here. Please always draw our attention to our wrongs because it's not easy. We are just human beings. You know, it's not easy to do this. You know, please press on the like button and help us to share. All right. You know, uh, let's do this. I'm going to post out a link right now for those of you that want to join this discussion. You know, while I still have one more to go, still have one more. That is article now. Videos, we are done. For those of you that want to join us, please click on the link and join us now. Because once I read this article, you know, I uh, we can just start talking straight away. But let me take this article quickly so that we can uh, move on. Bear with me, guys. Let me put this article on your screen. It's still Aleno Yeman again. It's crazy. Okay, as you can see right there, Lagos London flight Nigerian Airlines must be united to compete with foreign carriers, says Air Peace Chairman. The guy is speaking. He's really, really speaking. You know, so it's crazy. So for me, that so many things there which I, I, I so many he, he talked for here, not be small, but I don't want to read more. You know, you see. So many things we talk for here. He explained more here than than uh, uh, even the video. So, but still, I'll just leave the headline. You know, let me quickly accept the people that is already here with us, so that we can take this uh, with us. You know, um, let me take another uh, article quickly. Thank you very much, my brother, Mr. Alex, for joining me. I'll join you. I'll come back to you shortly. Let me take another one here. As you can see right there, Nigerian policemen extort 100,000 Naira from Cyprus returnee in Lagos after seizing his phone. Hmm. 
And I'm saying for there, so sad, but we thought we should report it. It's coming from Sarah Reporter. Let me quickly, I think I have just one more to go. Uh, yes, as you all know what is currently going on right now over uh, this Bobriski thing, you know, let me quickly put this on screen before I come back to what I wanted to say. You know, let me put this on screen. Um, you know, Bob Risky, I've been sentenced to six months. We talked about it yesterday. We are holding Bob Risky in a May facility. We will protect him from sexual predators. Correctional service officer, and I talk this one, said they go protect him, you know, not be small for a <laughs> while. But meanwhile, meanwhile, let's come to what I want to talk about. According to them, Bob Risky was arrested because of you know, let me put it here. Idris Bobriski Okunde Okuneye, a cross dresser who delights in a female outfit, will be kept in the May session of the prison facility throughout his six months imprisonment. People's Gazette has reliably learned from officials of the Nigerian Correctional Service. Okay, now I have a video to tally this up. Let's come to this particular video here. Yes, uh, Mr. Jonathan, I can see you. I'll accept you shortly. Bear with me. Okay, let's come to this particular uh, video here. Because when we talk about our country sometimes, about our law and many other things that they are being selective, some of you would think that we just want to talk. Now, if you want to talk about people, it really they spread this money where they talk. So see them. Now there are two with this. See them. Obi Kubana and Chief Priest Kubana. And ESCC not there, go arrest them. You see, although I'm not in support on whatever Bobriski is doing or whatever, but I stand for the truth. It's just like somebody were telling me the other day, oh, you are not supporting what now the Kano is doing, but you are advocating for him to be released. Because yes, you cannot lock somebody up while others have been released. That's me. I don't need to support what you are doing. If you want everybody to be punished or penalized, punish everybody at the same time. But you being selective, that is what I call practicing of nepotism and favoritism. That is what is happening right now. The FCC could not dare to go arrest these people. They're not arrest. Uh, okay, let me read the headline quickly. As you can see there, from Kubana brothers to Ned Woko's wife, how EFCC ignored Nigerian elites' misuse of Naira to unleash nightmare on Bob Risky, other everyday citizens. They don't fear arrest these people now. See people where they really waste money. They, they, they don't beat their face come out now. You know? But unfortunately, I don't want to read that more because I just want to leave it there. But they don't fit there as these people question. So now country, you and I did so. If we really need to be, you know, sincere to ourselves. Now country, we your day so. Way be say, these guys are being selective how they take their own decisions. This is not fair. So my people, thank you very much. This is all we have for you today. I'd like us to start talking. I only have two people on the panel. I'll post out a link again for those of you that want to join us, to join us. But if nobody's joining us, I'll allow the two people to speak. Then we end the show. Now God, God bless you now, my people. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to every one of you right there. I appreciate you all for your time with us. In case I didn't mention your name, but I want you to understand that I appreciate you. I appreciate your time with us as well. Let me take some calls quickly. Thank you very much, Lord of God. It's my strength, madam. Thanks for calling in. Please talk to us. One, Three uh, minutes. Thank you. I quickly really pick up this phone because I'm really upset. I'm really upset with this Nigeria behavior. LPs has come out to help us. Mm. LPs has come out to help Nigerians. This man has been putting his himself, his finances, everything in line to help Nigeria. What is wrong with us? Why are we against our own and we will call ourselves one country? That is one thing I love about Americans. I'm sorry I didn't greet you. Oh, I'm really sorry. Good afternoon, everyone. Good evening, everyone. We understand. The Please. It's so upsetting. America, they call it United America. They stand together. Somebody from Texas will support somebody from Orlando everywhere in America. They stand together. They call themselves America. What is wrong with us? Yes, we, are, we speak different language. Why are we doing this to ourselves? And we are talking that one thing, do one thing. Everything, this language, that language barrier will be in Nigeria is causing big problems. Who is against evil people? 
What have they done? They've done nothing to anyone. Please allow these people to live. You cannot cause who God has not caused. These people, they are blessed. They don't have any enemy in them. Why is everybody fighting them? Why is everybody wanting to bring them down? What this man has done for Nigeria, we see this, this, this happy man. Nobody from what part of Nigeria has done it. He has gone all his way so that Nigeria can suffer. But you people, when you are hiding your wish and your wizard, you want to bring him down. You people will not bring him down, no. It's enough. I'm really upset. What are we going to do to, to say the, the women when they gave him in Gatwick, when they gave him overnight, they change it. And then gave him a place that I cannot operate. People we are carrying their load on their head. Why are we why are we like this? And later we will say Nigeria cannot break. It's not negotiable. But you people are the one breaking it. It's enough. Quickly, let me go to Boriski. Every guess, but what Boriski is doing is us. Yes, I don't like it. But it does not mean that one will see two will not speak about it. It's not only Boriski, Idris, it's not the only one that is throwing money on the floor. We see it, but every, every other people, they do it. Why is it that it's the only one that went to prison for this act? It is wrong. There's no equality in Nigeria when it comes to punishment. Some people are special. Some people have, have they, they will take them away from punishment. Nigeria, we need to change our behavior. It's not nice. And quickly, let me talk about Inadikanu. I think it's night time now that we should look at what to do. They need to organize ourselves in protest so that they will know that we are serious about Inadikanu, so that they can they can free this man to go. They free and so they go up. They free to worry. What else again do they want from Inadikanu? They should leave him to go. Thank you. Thank you very much, man. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Okay, let me take uh, Mr. Shimeze. We have you here. Good evening to you, sir. Please talk to us. You have three minutes. Uh, right, yes, yeah. sir. Three minutes. Please talk to us. Good evening to you, sir. Yeah, right. Like that was good. Good afternoon. Good day. Good, good afternoon, everybody. Yeah, like that was. I think you, uh, you, you talk about dollar yesterday. I was laughing at you. I know you being sarcastic yesterday. I say, look at like that was what you saying. You know, you see that 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 thing that man said. You see, Nigeria. You know, I said something last time. When you, when you, when I was so angry about Nigerians that say, "Oh, dollar, 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 dollar," I said, "Dollar is not their currency. Nigeria don't use dollar. It's not their currency. We use naira. Nigeria use naira. Why? Why so? So hard this." Uh, uh, every time, dollar, 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 dollar. That's the problem. I keep saying it. The way that man said, uh, the way that man said, he said it all. And they don't know that we're just, you know, they want to people. This government want to do something. They want to do something people will see and clap for them. That's what they're doing. And so Jonathan, you know, Jonathan telling, telling us, I mean, you know, these people don't know what they're doing. And that is true. They don't know what they're doing. They just, they just want the public to clap for them. That one aside. Um, for people that are saying um, about uh, the, the guy that speaks Yoruba in that uh, co conference or the meeting they are, you know, he said something about Tulum, uh, Tulumbu, um You should remember when he was, they trained him at the Kotonu or so, Republic of Benin. You know, uh, for me, well, the only thing I would say there, uh, am I in that agent that said in my Igbo, say, um, if only only ga only only guy for so we go means that if we cross a bridge where the river, you can say let the let the bridge cross so that nobody can pass it again. That's what that in me. I will leave that one aside. Then, um. But then, um, peace, peace need to be very, very careful. Believe me, all these people, they don't, they don't like him. He need to be very careful. He will ask yourself why companies are living in, why are they living, moving out from Nigeria? Why are they moving? Because Nigeria is not working. It's not working. You can't have billions of billions of naira or dollars business in Nigeria and with this and with the way the country they run the country. If a real business person that bring his business there, no. He, 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 believe me, they will frustrate you, they will frustrate you and you that person likely that person can 
and the golden. Okay. Thank you. Need, um, sorry, <laughs> babies need to be very careful. Please, this this you know flying on air is not moving. Even now, uh, moving on the sea, moving on the ground, no one, is, no place is easy. But please, you need to be careful. Okay, thank you, and sir. But people, you know why I say this, Elvis? The reason why I say this, please. You see, you see, you see this. Uh, people, some people's mind are demonic and devilish, so they won't, they will go, they won't go and harm that man. I know where, I know where I'm going. You know, so I think they poor. That's where I'm going. You okay. need to be very, very careful because they will chase him. They will, they will find him. They will, they will anywhere. They will go to any length. You need to be careful. Thank you. That's the only thing I can say to him. Thank you, sir. Um, so your time is your time don't pass since now. You, why can't you work with time all the time, Mr. Shimizi? Eh? You know, but we cannot have a better Nigeria when we give time, we don't keep to it. Uh -uh. See, I gave you three minutes. You are still to, you are five minutes okay. now. Okay, well, 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Okay, what I want to say, you know, the incident that happened with the uh, junior pope. Uh, it's hard time. It's her time. It's her time. Nigeria will push stop on this. Not when someone die. Some people will use it to cash out. Instead of them to find solution for what happened, they will use it to cash out, making some rubbish, making using a dead somebody to cash out. I think when something happens in anywhere, police need to mind their anybody that find his phone recording need to seize that phone. Exactly. That's what I want to say. Exactly. Bye -bye, like I, support, I support that 100%. To be honest, my people, I, I think we mentioned this yesterday in terms of uh, 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 ju Junior Pope. You know, I'm proud of myself. You know, I understand some of you give me credit all the time, but I want to say me particularly, I'm proud of myself and those of you that is giving me credit, God bless you all. Because not everybody that opened their mouth to give you your credit. Check it. It's where this guy that check where any of my platform, any of you know all my platforms where I post and put. People are cashing out on this, on a dead body. I was discussing with somebody this afternoon. This is what we we're discussing privately. I was like, oh my God. Do we still have human feelings at all? It doesn't look like. Everybody want to quickly post the pitch, the video, make money for make money. It's crazy. His, his, evil, his fellow Nollywood colleagues are posting all his videos quickly. What are we running for? I don't want to divert this, this whole thing. Thank you very much, my people. I appreciate you. Let me call on the next person and, uh, on the panel. Mr. Alex, thank you very much, my brother. For joining us, please talk to us. Good evening to you, Mr. Alex. Are you there? Okay, you are not there now. I think because you, you are not muting yourself. Uh, I think I need to come back to you. Let me go to Mr. Jonathan. Uh, Mr. Jonathan, please, I would like you to talk to us. Good evening to you, sir. It's good to have you here with us today. Thank you, sir. Hello, Mr. Elvis. How are you today? Yes. Yes, I'm fine though. Thank you very much for always being here. I appreciate you. Yeah. Thank I, you. I, I greet um I I greet everyone, um, all those that are the, the, the fellow panelists. I greet you, Mr. Alex, and all those that are in the comment section. I welcome everyone and those that are watching. Uh, thanks very much. I you know today, you know, I the video that you showed today, uh regarding the, uh, the the man the, that man i know the man uh, I, i've kind of forgotten his name he's an economist and see nigeria has a, a diverse problem all they know to do in nigeria is oppressing suppressing you know just carrying out personal vendetta that's the government too. They are good at oppressing people, oppressing the citizens, suppressing them. You know, they carry out personal vendetta through the instrument of their public offices. That they are very good at that. 
at that they are very good implement policies that will bring growth to the country that they can't do they can't do that effectively but to oppress and to suppress wow if that is what makes countries great i can tell you nigeria will be nigeria will, will be among among the, the g7 of the world today they are very good at that but today i am happy the video that we presented today i am happy and i have been vindicated not just by anyone but by someone who knows exactly what he was talking about he knows exactly what he was talking about i've been vindicated so when people come to come out and many people when it comes to this issue of naira dollar Nigerian economy, government policies, the problem. Many people just don't know what they are talking about. But again, everyone has right to his or her own opinion. But it's always good to put out the facts out there. Just put it out there so that people can understand. We can understand each other. We can learn from each other and understand each other better. He laid it out. He laid it out there. Everything he said. Everything he said is just in the morning. The problems of Nigeria. That is our problem. We have our social problems. We have our security problem. But economic problem or problems, that's it. Everything they have been doing. You know, you, you, you see yesterday, you still ask the question. Uh, Naira is now 1,000. Uh, it's now 1,000 Naira to a dollar and all the rest of it. You know, you just have to keep calm for these people, you know, as they are carrying out this, their, this, their economic uh, 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 voodoo. I've said it on this platform several times. It will just be today that, I mean, I just have to repeat myself again today. I have to outline it one by one again today. Because I've been vindicated by someone who knows what he's talking about, an economist. Who, 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 who came out to say the truth? There are so many of them out there that they will not come out to say the truth. They will be misleading Nigerians. They know the truth, but they will not say it. Because of what they want to eat. Because of this stomach infrastructure and psychophancy and all the rest of it. But this guy came out and he just laid it out i hope the guy will be safe they won't go after this guy everything they are doing will not work let's just say and i said it on this platform again in fact i have to use my own personal experience that is i was trying to just for people to understand i i i you know i my own private information i brought it out my personal information that is personal to me that I, I don't have to say to anybody. I, 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 I brought it out because I'm so, it's so important for me that people should get it. I said, I use my own money, my own money. I invest in this, they are born. I bought. This is a private thing. I don't have to say it, but in order for me to explain it for people to get it. I use my own money, personal money. I, I send it to Nigeria. I, I bought. I bought. Because it's 24.75%. Why would I not do that? Am I stupid? Where you see it's free money. I also, my own money there, well, no matter how little it is, it's part of the money Yemi Kadozo is using today and so the billions that came from abroad because of 24.75 percent where will you see that end in the world is it in united states is it in united is it in japan is it in the e within the eu where it is just like free cash they are distributing it because they are desperate people they will give you the people come up with that money they come up with their dollar and the arrangement is that after six months i even i said one year that they will they will have to pay this money back 
And when they are paying this money back, just wait. Wait now. Do people that are dancing now, people that are clueless, they, do, they don't understand. They will pay this money back because they will give this, this, this Europeans, they will give them their money back in dollars. See that dollars that they are using now. Eh? I don't know how low one can go to explain this. See that dollar that they are give, using now to bring down the dollar to up to for the naira to appreciate. See that dollar that they are using now, they will need it back to give back to this European. So some of them are nine months, some of them are one year. They will give them Yemi Kadozo must give them back their money. Oh. And it is not only their money, it is on top. Some they made the arrangement of 20%, some 15%, some 18%. They will pay this money back oh, with the interest on top of it. And the question becomes when you now want to pay the money back, where will the dollar come from? Because you are not producing enough. You are not exporting enough. You are not injecting money, foreign currency in enough. So where will it come from? Then the pressure will come back on the on the on the naira on the on, on the, again on the naira. The all the dollars that they have, they will start buying it back because they have to pay these people back. So a system, what it, what they have done is not going to work. They just use it to you know kind of settle settle the nerves, get people to settle down, bring down the pressure. They will pay this money back. That's the money, that's the dollar that came in. That's the dollar that they use now to support, to support the Naira. And that's why we're seeing it dropping. But when it is time for them to pay the money back, then we will know. That's number one. Number two, even all these dollars that these Europeans brought in now, about two billion approximately now that they brought in, that they've now used it's free like a free cash they now use free for now the worst part of it is this the man said about 44 trillion has been budgeted across nigeria this 2024 the federal budget and all the state's budget if you put them together something about 44 trillion naira half of this money will be looted If you don't understand that, if you don't get that, then I have a bridge to sell for you that in Nigeria of today, that half of that money will be looted. And they don't keep looted money in Nigeria. You will see all of them. They will now start running to the same Burudi change to change this Naira to dollar. Just wait. When they start changing, let them start laying their hands on those budgets, on those budgeted money. Because they don't, the, the looted naira does not stay in Nigeria. The looted naira is converted to dollars and pounds and euros and siphon out of Nigeria through connivance of the Nigerian banking industry. They wire the money for them. Which dollar? Which pound? It is this European money that they brought now that they gave to Yemi Kadoso. They will take the money. They will take it back. So when it is now time for Yemi Kadoso to pay the European Europeans back their money plus the interest. That is when, <clears throat> excuse me, that is when the chicken will come home to roost. They will now be running Eta Sketa to get dollar. So that is the issue there. So don't let us be bamboozled when you see the Naira, they bring it down to that 1,000, 1,200 level. It's going to be there for now. We shall see, as I said. And as I always say, the most important thing that I care about, and like the man that came out today, is a like-minded. And there are many Nigerians like that. In fact, millions of Nigerians like that, that have this same, this same view. They are out there. So when it is, when it is, when the, when, when the, when the time comes, we will all be here. We will see, we will, we will see what, what will what will happen.
So that's what I would just say, you know, with respect to that. Nigeria is a, um, 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 unfortunately, that's where we have ourselves. It is the, the dollar, the demand for dollar is criminal. It is a criminal demand of dollar. They're not using it for anything. Just the looted Naira, they have to... Where will they put the, 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 the like, 22 trillion that they are going to loot in 2024? About 22 trillion Naira will be looted out of this budget all across Nigeria. So you think the 22 trillion Naira will sit in Nigerian banks? It will take 50% of that. 11 trillion will be converted to dollar. And pounds. Where, where is it not all this dollar that Cardozo has gotten from these Europeans? So that is that is that. You know, I will leave. I will. I will leave. I will. I will leave that. You know, for that for now. And then uh, you know, I will come to Mr. Oyema. You brought out the video of Oyema. I saw one of the v two videos. I saw one of them earlier in the week. See. The, the 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 attempt they are frustrating the man, you know, from three different areas, three fronts. Is the, the the attack is massive. The, it's like it's like it's, the man is like the, that 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 year line is like in a war zone, being attacked from three different directions. They are attacking him from the logistical side. They are frustrating him logistically. Earpiece will land, they will go and give them the gates that is so that is way, 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 way outside. In fact, there will be no carousel, they will have to be using hand to be carrying luggage or luggages. They are frustrating in frustrating the airline logistically so that people will can come out and say they don't have good customer service or services, and then people will have to switch to other airlines. The people will be having bad experiences. They are frustrating him logistically. They are frustrating him in, in the area of pricing by bringing down the price. All the other airlines, they drop their prices massively. So which means that Nigerians have been, have been, have been, have been looted. The individual Nigerians that are traveling, they've been cheated upon for years by these foreign airlines. They don't, they don't care. They don't care. And these same foreign airlines, just look at it. They are part of our problem today. They are part of the reason why the Naira dropped so much because at the end of the day, they will sell this airline ticket three, four times over and they will still want to change the Naira to dollar. So they are taking two, three, four times more dollar out of Nigeria that they should have taken. So they are putting more pressure on our on, on, on the Nigerian currency. They are part of our problem. But now they have been forced to reduce the price. They want to frustrate him through pricing. They also want to frustrate him through government support because their own government is supporting them. Where is our own government? I know they have done one or two things there, here, here, here and there, but this is the politics of it. This is where the government must come out firmly, openly, and speak out and support this, this year line, support this man, support his company. Because this is the of these three areas that they are attacking him, this is the most important the government supports. It is the Nigerian government that will speak out. They will speak out and they will take deliberate actions. If you undo this airline, you treat you treat EPs this way, we will do the same to your own airlines here. Because at the end of the day, if you want to use the, the, the treatment you have given them, at the end of the day, you want to come out and say they don't have good customer service, therefore, you want to discontinue their flight. It will not hold. It will not be tenable. Because we know everything you are doing now is all deliberate. So it is the Nigerian government that must speak out and back this, this year line up. It is the duty of the Nigerian government. Because if this year line, if this year peace should fail on this international route, ah, it will bite Nigeria so much. You see, we have not started at all. We're just talking about dollar naira. These year lines, 
the, all the money, all the prices that they drop, they will bring it back up again, and Nigerians will pay times three. Thank you. Three times more. So it is on the government of Nigeria to do the needful, to sub come out openly, both within Nigeria and outside Nigeria, to support year peace. It is a matter of whatever it takes. That is the way I see it. It's a matter of whatever it takes for the Nigerian government. So I will, uh, that's that's what I want to say on that. And then but with Bob Risky, in fact, I don't want to talk about him. I don't want to use my own time or waste my time to talk about this guy. All I just know is that I know that he's just a scapegoat. I don't think they are going after the Naira, really, really, him spending the Naira. I think they are going after his transgender, you know, uh, posture. That's what they are going after, and they are looking for a way to punish, to punish him and to use him as a scapegoat because there are so many people that are misusing the Naira. If you want to do that today, and you want, you want to apply the law equally, <laughs> these cases will fill, the, the Nigerian court will be filled up with people that have done the same or even worse. So, Mr. Mr. Elvis, I will uh, I will leave it, I will leave it at that for now. And if there's any other opportunity, thank you. I'll add more. Thank you very much, Mr. Elvis. Thank you, Mr. Jonathan. Thank you so much. Uh, that was a wonderful submission. Thank you. God bless you, sir. Let's see if Mr. Alex can speak now because we're calling him now for the past two years. He's not answering. Mr. Alex, are you there? Yes. Can you Can you hear me? Yes. Can, we you, can hear you hear me? me? To you. Please talk to us. Can you hear me? We can hear you now. Yeah, can you hear me? We are hearing you. We are hearing you, Mr. Alex. All right. Good uh, Good evening, Mr. Najawash. Uh, I'm fighting my network here. It's not Thank easy. Um, I, I hope you guys can hear me. Yeah, just go ahead. Okay. We can hear Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, it's a battle here with a signal, but uh, I'm just going to quickly continue. All right. Thank you. Um, there is. Uh, there is an there is an intentional orchestration that Africa will never work. There is an intentional fight. Just the same way there's an intentional agreement or written agreement by some people that Igbo man will not be president in Nigeria ever, but God will help us to overcome that. But there is an intentional activity on the ground going on that by Europeans and Americans. American government, especially business interests, business mogul, oil magnets, they are bent on saying that Africa will never work. When they, when they say Africa, Nigeria, because the day Nigeria stands up, Africa will stand up, according to PL Lumumba. Watch African countries that want to stand up, they fight them with propaganda, they fight them, they label them all sorts of names. They call them, they call the leader terrorist, dictator. They say all sorts of things. It has happened in Libya. It has happened, you know, even right now in Senegal, in Burkina Faso. They're calling that guy who is doing amazing things there a dictator. And yet they, they are going after his life. So the problem now is that if you look at the history, the, the Berlin Conference, where Africa was shared like a piece of bread by this European. Mr. Alex, are you there? Mr. Alex, we can't hear you. Unfortunately, they don't attack him again. Uh, let's wait and see if he's going to come in. It's very unfortunate. Uh, he's facing, you see, this is part of the things we are talking about. You are in Nigeria, nothing is working. Your network, Wahala, everything, Wahala. It's just it's everything to do with our country is stressful. But why? Why can't our leaders just do things right? At least. Hey? They will, they will pretend they will pretend that everything is normal. You know? Exactly. They just pretend they do things as if things are things are normal when things are not. You know? hey? They talk, no, they walk. If you they call, you know, they go from there, and uh, nothing, no road. No security, no no healthcare, no nothing. 
Tell me what is actually working in Nigeria and that we can now say, okay, let's give credit to all the government that have ruled Nigeria. And these are things that people paid for. It's not free. People pay for it. You know, you pay to you pay for your internet. You won't get you won't get you won't get you know you won't get internet that is flowing that is that is working well. You pay for electricity. You are paying for darkness. You know everything. It's crazy. It's not like oh, it's a socialist country where everything is free. People are just demanding, uh, you know, for the Christmas gifts every day or every... No. People are paying. Things are expensive. More expensive even than countries that... Most countries that are working. Nigeria is even more expensive. That's why if you want to live 20 or 30% of the life that you are living abroad, you want to live it in Nigeria, you will spend... You will be spending through your nose. You want to have that comfort. Just 30% of the comfort that we have in the Western world. I want to take 30% of it so that I can enjoy that 30% in Nigeria. You will, you will be spending, you know, like mediocre services. That's what you'll be getting. You pay for internet, it's not going to flow very well. You pay for your electricity, you will barely get it if you have it at all. So you have to resort to solar system or you have to resort to inverter. You have to resort to generator and be buying diesel like this you like 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 i mean like 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 crazy you know be buying this you like like i don't know you see and they pretend as if the country is normal they will talk they will they, you know they do things that's I, I always say that they always bring out things in nigeria you know they pretend as if things are working as if you know they will do it as if it's european central bank that is talking as if it is the Bank of England that is talking, as if it is the Federal Reserve in the United States that is talking, or the Bank of Canada that is talking. No, no, it is not. You can't use those things they are they are they are they are they are, they are, they are doing in, in the West and say you want to apply the same thing in Nigeria with the with with the, with, with the people that we have there with their intent, their primary intent is to steal. Is to steal, steal as much as possible, steal as much as they can. All the all the money, all the money they are looting. If they don't loot, how will they bribe? If they don't loot, how will they continue? How will they perpetrate themselves in office in public offices? They have to loot because their shortcomings will be so clear for everybody to see. So people will say, "No, I, I you, can, you can't remain. You can't stay here." You can't remain to, to, to be in this office, but they will use money to continue to perpetrate themselves in, the, in those offices. So they got to loot, they got to continue to loot, to continue, they got to continue to steal the common wealth of Nigeria of, 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 of Nigeria. You know, it's just so it's so it's so it's so it's so it's so, it's so terrible, you know, in that country. Until they do the needful, you know, until the needful is done. That's why the likes of um, that's why the the issue of uh, I believe I was waiting to hear uh, Mr. Alex to talk about the issue of uh, Namdekan, you know. But uh, unfortunately, we couldn't uh, we couldn't you know hear him. I believe what other people. Okay, let let's see if we can hear from um um Madam Bella Naomi quickly, sir. Thank okay. you very much. Yes. Uh, Madam Bella Naomi, thank you very much, ma'am, for joining us. Good evening to you. It's good to have you on the on the show. Okay, are you hearing? Yes, ma. Please talk to us. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, ma. <laughs> I want to greet my people. My lovely people of the Jawash. Every but I don't want to mention them all, so I want to greet them. Nami, una daughter. Bella Naomi, Vivian. What I want to talk for this matter be say, when I know best, so if I want to speak grammar, that that was the the the, the use of the the uh, uh, deceive us so uh, I don't want to talk BB grammar. What I want to talk be say, first of all, service. I want to appreciate you, really, really, from the bottom of my heart. I want to appreciate you, and I want to appreciate you, Mama. 
mama di ije no gi e kero bi a je o sa de ba we mhm we tell what to for this matter be say no no but biski mm, e bi as get me i use myself to do example when my son he talk say want go do tat eh uh, tato tato now I tell us if you go do tattoo, if you do one, not come this as again. That is my son. I tell him, Kevin, that I say it's not good. Our Nigeria problem was me get fabrica for Nigeria. I did pay, pay, pay. At the end, I was having nine. Now they are four. Eh? Light no day. Not you spend more than what you earn. So which can Nigeria be that one? Which can Nigeria be that one? Me are not the Nigeria. If my organ they list it to me, and my organ is a uh, Tunubu now. Let me the president. Wait, they list it. If they bomb people, if they bomb people, it's bomb everybody. How can we make that country grow? Number one. How can we? How can we? If you do small thing, at the end, are you the? Oh no, it's not fair. I'm not the Nigeria, but uh, eh, you know, I bet man have it. So you know, when people they talk sometimes, if they are not greedy, but they say what like I'm talking now. Excuse me, make Tumbo the year. This one, I know it's that Nigeria for me. Eh, the other, today is uh, Saturday. On Tuesday, my children get correct, uh, can they passport? Never ask them, where are they go? Eh, maybe we just get a one go Nigeria. Nigeria. I thank God, I don't get issue with anybody. If I they work out for truth for Nigeria, I'm free. But, how can we help this Nigeria? How can we? We they talk here every day. Every day. This lady, I don't even come online because when I listen to some things, I, I go back. I go to the ticker, the ticker, the ticker. I'm not a PP for Nigeria. But if my country is Nigeria, I go change my country. The way things are going. Okay, let me go to another canal. Uh -huh. It not be Mandela. Oh. Mandela spent 30 years if I don't make the mistake. It not be Mandela. Uh -huh. So if we they vote make the release them at the end, and but they are tell matter. A matter of when I see it, it may be look behind you. I didn't even know what he did. Why is there the thing? I don't know. Uh -huh. Make the release and make a commod because now you might be how many years we will stay for this life if you just stay too long, it's hundred. If you stay too long, and then the retainer he did there, you know, they uh, receive a free breeze, you know, they receive uh, for what I don't even know anyway. So, I'll be sorry, oh, you know. <laughs> Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank no, you. You know, they, I they talk as I in my body. That's why they talk my own. Uh, sorry, sir. If I just the can I go? <laughs> no, 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 no. Everything where you talk, man. Nah, nah. Exactly how you supposed to talk and as you to talk. You know. The, hey, the that's why they pay me. That's why they think I'm inside myself. Now they talk. But what I want to talk. Oh, uh, let me finish my conclusion now. Okay. My president, Tunubu. Even I was calling you Tif Nubu because we are Tif Nubu. Anyway, my my conclusion is that please, sir, I'm I'm making appeal to him now. My president, I beg, sir, we need a big, very, very big help. Not in a do, not in a in Nigeria. We need a big help. If you can't give it to us, let's just share it. Because if we start from a door side, uh, we just share to four places. 
we can carry ourselves together. But this way is not going. It's very painful. I don't finish. Thank you, sir, for accepting me to, to say what I, I want to say. Thank you, sir, Elvis. Thank you. Thank you very much, um, uh, Madam Bella Naomi in the building. Thank you, ma. We appreciate yeah. you. <laughs> Sure. Now, once in a while, you the join us for here. We don't say, hey, yes, so. you thank you. Thank now, you, they are the, are the, are the wrong my side. <laughs> thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I greet everybody. You see, Mr. 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 Evans. Yes, sir. You know, with respect to Nambikano, mm. what they did, what they did today, the the press uh, the press conference where they came together you know i saw both uh, i mean as a group of people they all came together to speak with one voice and to demand for one thing which is the release of Unamdikano. you know it's an indication that in nigeria they are they are listening so when we are talking here it's not that we're wasting our time exactly we're not we're not wasting our time they are, they are listening you see in Ambikano, for them they have no reason and they know themselves that there are no reasons for holding in Ambikano to today there is no singular reason other than political agenda that's all is a political agenda you can only solve it through a political channel it is not through this legal prosecutorial channel that you are you are just playing game but unfortunately you are playing game with the life of a man you have deprived him of his life going for years now and you continue to do so if you since 2018 though it's not like even when it was it was it was rendition criminally rendition from kenya to nigeria and i'm waiting you know nigeria as i said we always like to do things normal when we know it is not normal the the i know that maybe next week or so there about i know the the former chief justice of kenya is coming to nigeria and i hope that maybe they will ask him he's going to talk maybe there will be opportunity for people to ask him about this from in his, from his own country, or whether what the country did, what the, the, their participation in the rendition of the Namdekan is legal or not. I really want to know what that their former chief justice will say when it comes to Nigeria. I, I hope Nigerian journalists will just be bold enough if they have the opportunity to confront him and ask him that question. I'm waiting for that because See, at the end of the day, as I always say, they are only looking for the political moment. Mr. Timubu is looking for the... He knew, if I, as, as he knew before, even now, he, could, he is a, he com, 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 comfortably, he's aware that Nabekanu is a free man. There is no reason to hold him. But what he's doing now is that he's waiting for the political moment. Some people have said he had some, you know, allegedly that he had some arrangement with the knots. Is part of the is part of the arrangement he had with the North before he can or before he could get their support in 2023. Well, I see it more that he himself has his own agenda, and his own agenda is that is used. That is that's the reason why you know during the campaign we all we miss the opportunity. We just all of us, all of us miss the opportunity, but on top of it is the Nigerian media. But again, I won't, I won't really blame, the, blame them completely because this man did not, he never make him, made himself, made himself ava available for questioning during the campaign. Because these are some of the questions that all the candidates should have. Because Nigerians, we like to, we like to pad stuff. We like to, you know, pretend and put things under the table. We know the real thing, but they will not say it. These are real fundamental questions that all the candidates will have been asked openly. What will you do with an Amdekan if you get to office? Will you continue? Will you will you follow the rule of law? Will you obey the decision of the court? Those are the things that we need to, to those you know things that that these people should have been 
should have been asked and made them to be accountable for. But none of this thing happened. So you can you can you can hold them accountable now because he didn't say anything as per Nam Dekan. Politicians in Nigeria, when it comes to election time, everybody will just be gyrating all over. Everybody's is a, is a time to make money. It's a time to make money. People, some people will even say the only way they will vote for you, the only way you will get our vote during this election. Single issue. There are millions of people that they have only have one single issue voter. They will tell you that I don't care what you will do with the Naira. I don't care whether you will, you, you, will, you will steal all the money in Nigeria. I don't care. But this one, I want to know what will you do with respect to Namdekan? Will you obey the, the court decision? Will you follow the rule of law? Will you release him? I want to know. That is my own. I don't care any other thing. That is the only reason why I will either support you or not support you. And by the time the candidate is saying that, wow, I'm going to lose a lot of votes here because of this matter, he will, he will reposition himself. He will, he will be properly guided and advised that, look, you got to reposition yourself. Even you have to speak political, you know, correct, you know, correctness one way or the other, but you know that you will be held, you will be held accountable. On this matter but we don't do that in nigeria we just don't do that unfortunately this is the kanu matter should have been settled during the nigeria during the 2023 campaign it should have been settled during the 2023 campaign completely settled it should have been completely settled but it's nigeria you know what what is it? What can we what 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 can we do? This is where we find this place where we find ourselves. But I do know one thing for sure that things are no longer the same in Nigeria. Things have things have changed. Things have things have completely changed. I mean, in terms of election, people are more people are more open-minded. People now are better positioned to put their leaders, to put them to account, bring them to account. Not when they be, get to government, or before they get to government, before the election, that is when you have to put them to account. But it's like they get it free. You know, when you get something cheap, you're not going to respect that thing. Anything that you acquire cheaply, no effort, it was so easy for you to get it. You're not going to cherish it or, you know, respect. That's the way politics is in Nigeria. They get into these offices so cheaply. And that's why they don't care. Aside from the money that they spent, which they know that they are going to recoup it back once they get into office. But the people, they have no respect for the people at all. Zero respect. That's why the lives of Namdekan is still languishing there. Because if they have respect for the people, you know, the, even the Eastern Bloc, the votes, the vote from that region alone should have compelled any leader even if I'm going to get 15% or 10% from this region, it will add up to my vote. And it will begin to change the narrative from that part of the country. So even if you are going to do it for political reasons, go ahead and do it. Because we are, we are holding him for political reasons anyways. Why not release him on political ground as well? Solve this matter politically and let this man go. I just don't see any reason. You think if you release release Nam the canoe today, Nigeria is going to fall, or Nigeria is going to all, all hell is going to break loose? Of course not. You will continue in your government with, with your government. Your government will continue. But because you want to hold grip of the people, you don't want any dissenting opinion. You don't want people from one region of the country to be to be openly. Or to be to, to be backing one man over you. That's why you continue to hold the man. So for me, I think what they did is in line, is 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 fine, it's okay, but you know, we'll see how they will go. We'll see how how and you have always said on this platform that you believe that uh, Mr. Tinubu will release an Ambukan. Well, you are a man of you are a man of hope. I I hope I hope I pray that will happen. But for me, I see Mr. Tinubu as a politician that 
is waiting for that political moment that it will be advantageous, you know, to him or for him to release an Americano. I think that is what he's waiting for. There is no any there's no any other reason. He can take the decision today, today and tonight, and Americano will be out. He can do that. But you know, he's a is a politician, and that's what he's, he's looking for. He's looking for the political capital. But I've, I've, I've said before, I said, if you think it's going to get any political gain, it's, it's, there will be none. There will be none for him. You just have to do the needful and let and let, and let let this man go. You know. Mr. Elvis, are you there? Yes, so I'm there. <laughs> okay, all right. You know, okay. I was just waiting for you to round up because we are going to finish on time because... Okay. Uh, today, people, nobody joined us because there are so many brokers going on right now. They say Peter will be somewhere and many others. So, and it's Saturday as well. So, I would like us to finish on time a, a maximum of two hours. At least let me achieve that for once. <laughs> okay, I'll make sure I'll make sure you achieve it too. But because you now the ball is in your court to, to round up then on time, yes, no, you know, exactly. The thing is that when you are rounding up, you just see some people with just they will just chip in right away. No, 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 no. I don't want them to come anymore. It's too late now. I want us to run up on time. But let me pick this call. Let me pick this call quickly. Uh, love God is my strength. Thank you very much, Ma, for calling in. Please talk to us. So I go quick talk. Okay. Quick. Yeah, I just want there's something that you say. I really support you. You see, this uh, Pope Junior, the Junior Pope that died. Yeah. The way our Nigerian people are putting this man picture everywhere, talking about him, it's uh, it's I'm really angry. Mm. This afternoon, I was just asking myself, why not give this boy respect? Why not give his widowed wife respect? This woman will be going through a lot now. But our people, they are talking using this man to make money on internet. No respect for the dead anymore in Nigeria. They will see somebody die. This man was taken from the water. They did not have the idea to press his, his chest to bring out water. The next thing they are snapping picture. What have we become? What is happening in this country? The interest of money has made us to lose our senses. We have no sense of armor. We have no sense of sympathy. No empathy party in our life. We need to stop all these bloggers. They are not using dead body to, to make to money. To make money. I should let them think they can hear me. Why do you think they are doing this vanity of vanity? It is but it is junior pop now. Tomorrow who knows the person that's going to be the next that's the way they are going to take your picture to be slapping all over the internet. Nigeria stop this long throat of money is too much. Thank you. Thank you very Thank much, you. man. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. You know, it's, it's true. What, 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 the, what the madam said now is, 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 is true. It's, you know, it's there's crazy. No, there's, no res, there's no respect at all. At least the family, you need to give the family some respect. And give them time. Even if you are still going to do this, you give them time, you know, before you... Other, other, than, other than announcing it and bringing it out to people, the story, that's all. But you know, adding to it, trying to make money. Some people, what they just want to get is views. I know, I think you said it the other day that, in fact, you, you decided not to do that because you even heard the news way, way before, you know. But some people, even if they hear that, that's, that is it. They don't have anything. They don't have content. They don't know how to go about it. They are just looking for opportunity, things like this, just to get views, attract attention, and all this. And, and, and at the end of the day, when they are talking, what they are talking about will not even add up. It will not even make any sense, most of these places. Yes, I saw one of such yesterday. What they are even talking does not even... It's you know, crazy, man. It does, does, it doesn't even make sense. Just, uh, uh, Mr. Sense. Jonathan, one thing you must understand is this. Um, like I said so many times on this platform, not be say now we good pass or now we no pass, but there are some things you, you don't supposed to do. I have a first-hand information on what happened for the Nollywood. I talk to people, the top, top people. 
I called. I asked questions. What did they stop? What did happen? Not true. Say yes, not true. I say Jesus. So I could have just started posting or come on air to say my people breaking news. So I refused it. Yeah. See now, see our title. Now see name for me. But what is wrong with our people? Percy die. I don't want to go there, Sha. We'll just leave her, man. This is Nigeria. Yeah. This is where we find ourselves. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, where we find ourselves. Yeah, we, 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 uh, Mr. Jonathan, as you talk, and just and uh, two people don't come join now. I don't, I don't understand that you to do this. <laughs> <laughs> you, say, you see, you know, yesterday, let me, let me tell you this. You know, yesterday, because I, I said, Mr. Evans, I said, you've been, you've been on the broadcast for hours. You see, when two Nigeria came yesterday, you know, I wanted to take him on, and I knew that if we do that, we might end up being here for another two hours. <sighs> but I just, I just listened to you, and you know, I said, you know, you got to end the broadcast. My so two hours, so I said, I, I, I shift today, Nana. Eh, Mister yeah, Odua, go carry come. Mister Ike, go carry come. Eh? <laughs> you know, you see, on Saturday, you know, two weeks ago, three weeks ago, it was like this, and I said, Mister Elvis. It is like this, the you know, the silence before the storm. You know, before the storm, there will be quiet. Everywhere will be quiet. You know, be all right after, it's going to be storm. You know. Hey, but like, but you know, but if you not join for that beginning, you don't just say for don't come on since. <laughs> if everybody is waiting for the quiet and the storm, or some quiet at the storm. Before you know it, this Saturday night go come spend six hours. <laughs> yeah, now see see another person don't come see see. What will be this now? Hey, <laughs> today was Mr. Evans. You cannot, you cannot run away from your shadow. You cannot run away from your shadow. Stay there, stay there. Ah, no, Mr. F. Emmanuel. I just say we can achieve two hours to do that. No, agree. Two hours, <laughs> eh? Hey. Anyway, mm. thank you, my people. Once I don't see person for the backstage, I can't refuse anybody. I appreciate you all, but I would like us to hear from Mr. Odua, Mr. Odua. It's good to have you on the show. Good evening to you, sir. Ben, talk to us. Yeah, good evening, Mr. Nigeria Wash. Thank you, sir. All the panelists, commenters, listeners, viewers, good evening, all Nigerians. For me, I don't have much to say. I only just come because of this title. Because this is where you see Mr. Uh, Dr. Guru said about talk about unity yesterday, I believe first day. We are talking about unity. Me, I always say these things. That's part that I don't speak big grammar or make my voice not to be recognized. But anyhow, as a Nigerian man who have a language of my origin, I supposed to be using my own language, the Nakoda dialect. So I have to use the dialect of British, of uh, England to talk. <laughs> Where anyway, uh, I don't really know how many airlines that they have in Nigeria or that uh, Oyema is not telling the rest to collaborate, to join together so that they cannot take Nigeria air out of the, the London and the whatever ways of Europe or whatever journey. For me, I know what unity can do in a business. That is why I said yesterday. I mean, they first did that. Nobody have ever go to China store and find one person selling, uh, doing, uh, doing everything, the writing and all. Except you find that in only Africa or especially Nigerian businesses. That is what you see. That if the only one person want to be the distributor, want to be the retailer, want to be the OSE, you want to be the attenders, you want to be the secretary. It is only we. And we claim wiseness, educated, awareness, and whatever we believe. But for me, I said when they were when he was even having uh, when we just brought it out the other day that uh, for him to even register alone was difficult. I used Dango State as example during the um, um, ambassador time. Dango State was the one shipping rice, shipping beans. Shipping cocoa, shipping water, shipping ice block, shipping earth, everything was Dangote. I said, it is not only Dangote that has that business. But they just put Dangote as figurehead. 
the Dangote refinery can tell people how that it is not Dangote that owns that refinery, but Dangote name is just sitting there. Uh, Nigeria government who could not face worry or whatever refinery we have in the in our side in Nigeria, give billions to Dangote to build refinery. This our uh, central bank, whatever name they call the man who make Nigeria to be buying their own money in their country, give billions of money to Dangote. Automatically told you that it is not Dangote who was the refinery. That they just put in there and be pumping money into it. But on Yema, it is only his money that is investing on this airline. And there are people who are doing businesses with these people. Uh, there are Nigerians, because I've not said people, there are Nigerians who are doing businesses with all these foreigners. Collecting money from them, making Nigeria to go bankrupt and make Nigeria to cry in, in, in anguish, make Nigerians who travel to pay through their nose and their nyash and their leg before they can be able to uh, uh, enter any flight of any other countries. So Epis is taking food out of these people matter. How did you expect that they will allow him? This is why I said, let him open the badge for all Nigerians to be a shareholder of this company and see, even if it is just 500 Naira that he want to be paying from uh, London to Nigeria, if anybody can take him out of business. But when people refuse to go through the right way in understand in the way of business, because for those who did who read business can understand about my explanation, or those who read uh, home, home economics, uh, let me use this way. Those who read home economics can understand that there is strategies in putting your house together. Before your house can be beautiful as you desire, you need paint, you need chair, you need. So it is of different groups that come together that make your house to become quality that you want. So let Oyema do the same thing. Because it is not only Dangote that holds those business we are hearing Dangote, Dangote. It is the Nigeria government. Okay, let's check. Even when uh, Yaradua, late Yaradua, came into power, he borrowed Nigeria money and gave to Dangote. Why is it only Dangote all of them are giving those things to? Why are they not giving it to another person? Because they are the one who holds the interest of that bank, of those uh, companies. But Dangote name is just written. Let Oyema's name be written on this flag, but let the whole Nigeria uh, own this uh, airpiece and see if anybody can bring it down. That is only what I came to say. So this is the power of unity and the strategies of business. Thank you. Zairis, are you there? Hello, can you hear me? Is yes, anybody yeah, there? Do one. Thank you, sir. God bless you. Thank you very much for your submission. Thank you, sir. Uh, Mr. Ives. I, please, I'd like you to talk to us. It's good to have Ives. you on the show. Good evening to you, sir. Mr. Ives, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Yeah, I just want to, uh, Mr. Odua's uh, comment. Uh, he talked about the Nigerians to, uh, for Mr. Oyema to take uh, earpiece public. It's a, it's, a, it's a good idea. But you know why the man is not doing so? The reason why Oyema is not doing so, I'm not in his mind, but from a business standpoint, if I were him, this is what I would be thinking. And as a businessman, you can have the same like-minded reason. This is the reason why he's not doing that. At the end of the day, if it takes your peace public, it will still be under the Nigerian government, regulated by the Nigerian government. In fact, that means that he's taking a piece of your peace out of his hand to be regulated by the Nigerian government. That's why he's not doing so, especially where he knows that at the end of the day, it is one Ausa man that will end up to be heading the Nigerian stock exchange and they could be making policies that will not be in his best advantage. That could be one reason. So the best way, there's the other way to do it, he can still achieve it, is to ask Nigerians, those Nigerians that will be buying the shares if you were to go public, let those same Nigerians 
be flying earpiece no matter what. That's it. Support for earpiece no matter what. If this earpiece, British Airways, you can come all you like. Eh? Delta, you are, um, 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 Emirates, you can come all you like. Here Morocco and here Egypt, you can come all you like to Nigeria. We Nigerians will be flying earpiece. That's your own problem. Then they will hear the message loud and clear. I think it is also on we Nigerians to support our own. That is that's the most important. That's one way to deal with it. I don't. He, I knew he doesn't. He's, he's very strategic. He didn't want to fall into that trap. Take twenty percent of your peace public. You are you have taken twenty percent of your company and hand it over to the Nigerian government, and they can push you all all the way. In fact, they can bring your company down through one policy, just one policy alone. They can bring it, especially if they are after you. Is if if they are not after you, that's fine. Every, every, everything will be normal. But the best way is for we Nigerians to support our own. And if anywhere, even if I'm coming to, if I'm come, going to Nigeria and I'm flying from North America, I will deliberately end my, my, my first leg in London. Deliberately, I will end it in London so that I can now get year peace from London to Lagos. I will do that deliberately. I will, be, I will support the airline. So it is, it is, it is on us Nigerians to support, and all these airlines, they will, as they say it here, they will enter house. The British Airways, you can come all you like. We don't care, come all you like. But we are not, we are, we are flying the airpiece. That is, that's, that's the way to deal, one way to deal with it. Thank you, Mr. Elvis. Uh, uh, Mr. Elvis, please, can I say something before you call right. the next person? And uh, you know, say people don't okay. too full now. Just make it thirty seconds, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Baba Jonathan. You see, I understand. You see, the reason that the banks work, you cannot buy share in UBA and be and try and leave UBA growth and you'll be going and be banking in a union bank. You will not want to do that. So Nigeria that traveled is strongly to make their money. So they will look for the cheaper way for them to make use of it. If APIS, if they are all stakeholders of APIS, they will make it easier for people to draw through. And be, because of that, APIS will even make more money than the way he will expect to make because it will be cheaper and people will want to use it. Thank you. All right. Um, to be honest with the situation of APIS right now, <laughs> making profit is not even the issue now. They are trying to frustrate the guy out of the business in totality. That's what they're trying to do to him now, you know? So for him to continue to be coming out like this, crying out, this is what I'm passing through in my country. This is what I'm passing through internationally. It's crazy, you know? But let's move on. Let's move on. Let other people speak so that uh, let's see if we can round up on time since uh, we don't have much people uh, at the moment now. Uh, Mr. F. Emanuel, it's good to have you on the show, sir. Please, I'd like you to talk to us. Good evening to you, sir. Yeah, you don't brother, talk to me. I, I thought you called me. Hello, hey. Mr. Elvis. I thought you okay, called Mr. me and then... Yes, Mr. Ike, I've been calling you before. No, sir. no, I was there now. When I wanted okay, to talk Ike, now... Go ahead, go ahead. Okay, yes, yes. yes. Sorry, sorry I... Mr. Ike. Yes, He's... now you're supposed to talk to us, Novice. I bet okay. you Mr. Ike. All right. Um, good evening, Mr. Elvis. Good evening, other members of the panel. Um... It's quite unfortunate that the management of the backlash of what happened to Epis was not done very well. Um, our people will say that the palm wine tapper does not say everything he sees while on the palm tree. You don't say everything that you saw. And then he should also have realized how divided Nigeria is at this particular time. And the third thing is, when you fight corruption, corruption fights back. He went too loud. He went too loud in buying airtime to say the things people did to him. And those people, you will still go back to them to still continue the business with. You know when Dangote was embarrassed here by EFCC, if you remember, Dangote, there was a time 
EFCC went to Dangote and went into his office and they said they were searching this, they were searching that. They did that thing because to get back at Emefiole. But Dangote did not one day go public to go and say what the Nigerian government or the EF or agency of the Nigerian government did because he knows he will always go back to that same Nigerian government. I have worked in corporate departments where it is so obvious that something was done to you, but because you want to continue in that business, you manage it. He went, he went too far in trying to expose the people he felt that didn't work well for him. And at the end of the day, there are still that bureauc bureaucrats that will still be there days after. That's one mistake. When he finished that first one, that first uh, 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 interview with Arise, he still went to channels. When Tinubu also invited them to break the fast, he still spoke more. What happens is they will say, okay, when you finish, come back now. Now, these foreign airlines also that he talked about what they did to him in UK and so on. When you see all of those, I'm not saying you should go and bribe them. You can fight it by not going to the public. By not going so much to the public. And then when you now started giving the glory, the, 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 the glory was going more to President Tinubu and Festus Kayamo. I knew he was going to run into this kind of thing. Let me tell you, there are so many things that can happen in somebody's administration and maybe the person didn't do anything. It only happened during his administration. If you are, if you are farming now, let's say, for example, you, are, you came into the U.S. and you get your green card and then you are working towards you are getting your citizenship. It must happen in somebody's administration. But if you now go and start singing praises of the current president, as if not because of uh, Trump, if not because of Obama, I wouldn't have been able to get my citizenship. Those people didn't even make any statement, but it's just that it happened during their administration. This guy would have been able to manage that success without going to divide those that worked against him and those that worked for him. The fight will continue. Because you, you kind of divided yourself between the people that you felt were against you and the people that are for you. And you don't even know the people that are against you. You don't know. You don't know the people that are for you. They might actually be doing as if they are in support of you, but behind they are working against you. So you'll be making more enemies when you go to polarize your business. That was the first mistake. The second mistake is telling the foreign airlines that they have been ripping Nigeria off. That as soon as you brought your own ticket down, they have hurriedly gone to bring their own down. But you forgot that these foreign airlines have so many routes. They can decide to frustrate you only on Lagos-London route. That's the only route that is lucrative for you. But these people have so many other routes. They can decide to forget about profit on Lagos London route to bring to bring you down and put in those other profits in all other route routes that they have. So you don't fight, you don't go fight. Think about the big businessmen that are in Nigeria. They face difficulties in the industry. But they don't come to the air to come and scream it to come and scream it. So he has to start crisis management. Professionals need to come in. He need to talk less and work more. Talk less and work more. Nigeria is a very, very corrupt place to work. But people are still working in Nigeria. What they are doing is to manage those backlash. They are managing it in such a way because it's not a one-off thing. When a, a roach that the, the, the hen has decided to eat and you fly out temporarily and you go 
and and talk so bad against that hen. The moment you fly back, that hen will eat you up. So he has to talk less and walk more. They will do it in such a way that he will come begging, but he doesn't have to. If he had, if he had, if he had remained a little silent about the things he went through. When a man goes to a war and see difficulties, you will find a way to walk around it and solve your problem. If you come and scream and scream and scream and scream, you could make more enemies for yourself. That's what I saw on your headline that made me join because I feel the, the, the crisis was not managed very well. Thank you. So what did he say? What did he say? Okay. Okay, uh, let, 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 me, let me tell who, you some of the things. Who are the people that he exposed according to what you okay. were saying? Okay, okay, now he, he exposed the bureaucrats in Lagos Airport. The, the people, the people, servants. the people, the, the civil servants the in the ministry, he made, his, hold on, he, he made, he, yes, the people serving in the airport, he made, he made festers to threaten to sack all of them. That the people if that kind of thing happens bed. again, you 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 will still you, you you will still go back. You will still go. Sincerely speaking, you will still go back. When 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 uh, when uh, Ruben Abati said that thing jokingly to say, uh, "Have you gone to see those civil servants?" They say you want to eat alone. Ruben said that thing jokingly, but that's the reality of doing business in Nigeria, my brother. We don't call it bribe. We don't call it bribe, but we, they call it appreciation. That's what Nigeria have decided to call it. They call it appreciation. They won't call it bribe. Because bribe is if you have to do it before they do the work. But if after doing the work, you go back to say, thank you, I appreciate what you did. There's no more bribe. They call it appreciation. That's how Nigerian business happen. But you coming out to come and shout and shout and shout, you, 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 unless you don't want to do the business again in Nigeria. Don't you but, think but, you're but what I don't when you say what that I don't understand? Wait, 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 just a minute. Yeah. Don't you think? Don't you think of contradicting yourself yeah. when you say he's there present? You know, yeah. the president and the uh, uh, Festus Kiyamu and he's also attacking the, the. So, which people are more at the helm of affairs to help him? If not those two people, is present? No, 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 my brother. Those people, Tinubu will fly private. Will fly private jet every day, every time. Tinubu will never go into airpiece. Never. So Tinubu's policies, no, Tinubu's so, policies. He will, them, he will help you. You don't know, my brother. You don't okay, know. Mr. Ike, Mr. Ike I yes. don't, what, what I'm trying to understand from your submission it, it, yes. it, it's difficult for me. Mr. Oyema is crying out for Nigerians to know what he's facing. And you are saying that he shouldn't have come out at all. That, that, the only that, that, guy in silence. It, 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 you see, you see, it is, it is wisdom. Maybe I don't know what Mr. Jonathan want to say. I'll, I'll let you. I'll, let me say, let me, I'll, I'll let, let you say. I'll let you say something. I'll let you say something. I, I never talk. Please don't forget. Yes, I, 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 I am not saying that. See, as you did now, Mr. Niger Watch. If there are some things that will happen, eh? They say manage it with wisdom. It's not everything that you say oh, you don't want to die in silence, don't want to die in silence. You go and solve the problem. Do you think do you think some of these business people that are in Nigeria are not going through one one thing or the other? You don't solve Nigerian problem by going to the public to go and mess some certain people up. And that's why sometimes they say, No, we don't we don't have to talk about it in the public here. You will hear people say it. Okay. People All talk right. about let's it. Hear, Mr. Let's, uh, let, uh, let's yeah, hear uh, from other Yeah, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Evis. Please, just yes. I was just want to respond to Mr. Ike before. Uh, please, I just want to take the indulgence. Make, it, of Mr. make it brief, please. Yeah, please, uh, Mr. Ike. See, I respectively disagree with you in all its entirety, completely, respectively. I, I disagree with you. This is Nigeria, and I want to believe that you perhaps. Maybe I'm I'm as my is an assumption. I might be wrong. That perhaps you are just hearing Oyema now. This man made the application seven years ago. Seven years ago, so he will die, right? And they will continue to keep him frustrated. This is the norm in Nigeria. 
the fact that that is the way it works and it is not right does not mean that we'll continue to work that way. We have to change for crying out loud. My, my brother. Out, listen, he must come out and bring, bring it out to the open. He stayed seven years. Okay. Seven. My brother, my brother. See, let me tell you, eh, there are some things also you will plan and it takes some time to come up if you if you check if you did what, what i'm saying here what i'm saying here is the reality i didn't justify that it is the right you know so so you understand where i'm coming from i'm telling you what happened what i suspected no, I happened see. now i, I I'm, I'm only opening your eyes to it no no no, so, no, no so that no, you don't no, say no, so no, that no, you don't no, right. no mr ike you are not only telling us what happened opening our eyes you were accusing him of coming out to speak in public yeah i said i said he went too far he what? went too far in well, in, 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 in to express himself when he's facing to do challenges okay 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 let me let, let, let me say something so that i don't take up the whole time mm -hmm. let me say something when uh uh he applied for this thing before i have followed him from beginning i even have i even have his his brother his immediate brother that i work with i followed him from the, the first thing people started working against him was he says that the flight local flights were too expensive especially the ones coming to the Ebola land there has been some politics going on all this while now when he eventually got this thing when he eventually got this thing it is Okay. Not the time. It is not the time when you are looking for something, you Mr. get it. I, it's not the time on. for you to go public to fight all okay. the people that we are stumbling block. You overpass. Okay. You've already passed them. Okay. Okay. Let's let's come back to you again. Let me get another view. You know. Let me quickly hear from uh, uh, someone else here, Mr. F. Emmanuel. Thank you very much sir, for joining us. Good evening to you once again. Please talk to us. Good evening. Good afternoon, everyone in the panel. Wonderful contribution, Mr. Evans. Good evening, Mr. Good Mr. F. Emmanuel. Please hold on. Thank you. Uh, uh, okay. With the name uh, on the comment section, patience Idemudia. You don't tell my panelists to stop talking rubbish is an insult. Um, I don't know if it's your first time uh, doing such thing, but we are going to pardon you today. You know, you can disagree, but you cannot insult them. You know, that is the rules of this platform. We don't take insult from anybody. Please. In case of next time, thank you very much for your understanding. Go ahead, sir, Mr. F. Emmanuel. Yeah, thank you for giving me the opportunity to speak. Um, wonderful contribution, Mr. Jonathan, and the last speaker that I just spoke. Uh, one thing I want to say is uh, it's just unfortunate that uh, Alan Oyema, being in Nigeria with his business, how to not begin to beg Nigerians to patronize his own business. You know, it's just unfortunate. Why? Because we have this, uh, this mentality that, you know, anything that is that is foreign, all this foreign, foreign stuff, anything that is Nigerian made is not really highly valued. You know, so that is one. Then secondly, I also want to say something with respect to what the last speaker said. Alan Oyema should try as much as possible to manage his information, to manage uh, whatever process is going through. You should also have it in the mind that right here in Nigeria, there are saboteurs. There are people that are cashing out, that are liaising with these foreign carriers as well. So it shouldn't be ignorance of that. And whatever he needs to do to make sure that he fights strategically, things that need to be said in air should be said. Things that don't need to be said in the air, outside through the media, should be kept calmly and managed in-house. Because our people say, now right away the house, the terror to the outside, come food day here. You know, so it should be very, very, it should be sensitive. I'm not saying it shouldn't market his product. I'm not saying it shouldn't solicit for patronage, but you should always watch his back because there's a lot of saboteurs in this system because this whole thing that are, ah, I should patronize you so that you always keep going up. You know, that kind of nonsense mentality. 
you know. So you should also turn with caution. You know, you should turn with caution. That is for him. Then for Nigerians, please, to better our economy. This one I'm saying I'm saying it to Nigerians generally now. Please go back to Reno or more Chris tweets few months ago or few I think few weeks or few months ago. See, it was advertising Nigerian made they say buy Nigerian made food, eat Nigerian made food, Nigerian made car. We talk we have the the, the likes of innocent and, and the likes, you know. So let's try as much as possible to patronize our own, our own. It will help our economy generally. It has nothing to do with politics. You know, we know bureaucracy are there, but we should try as much as possible to, you know, patronize what we have in-house. Let it, other countries, let other countries also come to us too and do, and do business with us, not us always going outside. You know, so this is a big opportunity for us to patronize what we have back home. Doing that, it will also help the government you know, in the delivery of democracy, they just as they promise, even though we know that they, they promise and they do nothing. But at least this is a businessman is different from politics, you know. So just like uh, 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 Dangote, Dangote has monopolized the system for so long, you know. So this one has come on board now. So please, let's try. Because I know Nigerians are well, well travelers, very great travelers. They travel to virtually every country in the world. So let's patronize our own. By so doing, we'll be able to see how our economy will be better. That's for that. Then for this pope, you see, pope, this guy that uh, just died, this uh, I, I, artist. Well, I pray his soul rest in peace, you know, and uh, God grant his wife and kids the fortitude to bear the loss. What annoys me so much in this whole process, you know, was Nigerians. They would, they, they would have saved this guy from this day. Among those people that are carrying him, that are carrying him to mortuary, from mortuary to Babalao, nobody, nobody have common sense to think of first aid first. CPA, I don't know, CPA or CPA, what they call it. At least the, you learn that one. Is that the first thing to do, even before a doctor attend to you? Because this is water. This is water. The first thing to do is somebody that, have, that is drawn. At least the, 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 that thought didn't come to their mind. It's only to go and do uh, Babalao and uh, Mojo that came to their mind. It's unfortunate that we, Nigerian, we are not learning. We are not learning we, 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 in this time and age that anything you want to learn is at your beck and call. Eh? The first thing to attend to this guy was to make sure that whatever is in the system, all those water here, to you know, press him and bring it out before any other thing, you know? But it's unfortunate that we find ourselves in this kind of uh, situation. I, 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 feel, I feel so sad. I feel so, I feel so sad. You don't need to be a doctor to know all these things. At least first aid first. You don't need to be a doctor, you know? So besides this, I, I, I feel bad though for, and one not says that, that, that I don't like about us Nigerians, this social media has made us that we don't have human feeling anymore. Exactly. Some this, exactly. Is, this is life. This is life we are talking about here. And people are going social media to, to spin rubbish. No empathy, no sympathy, no feeling anymore. Really? So in Nigeria, now, everything that makes sense is all about money. Everything that is just money, anything that is not money, but in the eye of an average Nigeria, it doesn't it doesn't make sense. Hi. Oh my god, I pity our country. We really we really need a paradigm shift in our mind, in our way of thinking. Sincerely, even if you remove you remove us from Egypt, as long as Egypt is in our brain, we'll be acting Egypt. So we really need a, a mind revolution. Uh, uh, how can somebody lose his life and and you you cannot even give him at least how many days now? Not even not a week. We started going everywhere. Few, last few months now we talked about Mr. Ibu. Now who is talking about Mr. Ibu again? They carry Mr. Ibu matter everywhere. Ibu here, Ibu there. Now that chapter is closed. Now it's this one now. 
in the next few weeks, a few weeks again, God forbid, now rappers in fact, they will pick up that one again. Where is the feeling in Nigeria? Where is the, where is, where is the brotherly law? Everything is not money. Everything is not money, please. This is not politics now. This is talking about life. Huh? Go ahead, go ahead, sir. Uh -huh. Thank you. You said uh, you don't need to be a doctor before you know that. And Nigerians are not learning. But I thought Nigeria, they are going to school. And if they, if you are not need to be a doctor, where do Nigerians supposed to learn those things from? Because I my know brother, they are going to school. My brother, can I say something? Do you, do you have first aid in your house? Do you have first aid box in your house? I don't know what is first aid box, so I don't know where to learn it. That is why I'm asking you. First aid box, you don't need to have be a doctor to have first aid box in your house. First aid box contain contain scissors, plaster, uh, paracetamol, or tanalol, all those small, 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 small medication, small, small vitamin, all those small, small iodine, all those small things that before the situation become critical. At least the first thing to do, if you have a cut on your leg now, what do you do? Will you just start rushing to hospital? The first thing to do is to attend to it. Okay. Uh, uh, hydrogen pyrozide. All those small, small things, you have it in your house. At least before, before you, if situation is, to, uh, is beyond your control, you cannot go to hospital. Everybody should be able to have that. That's what I'm trying to say. Just like the way you have salt in your house. Uh, you should have first aid box in your house. As a family man for emergency, because any doctor that any situation that arises in your house that has to do with health, the first thing they will ask what what happened, right? If it is headache, you open your first aid box, take your panadol and take or paracetamol and take. If it is that situation, Thank subside, you. okay. So you did not answer the question, sir. All sir. right, but the question mm -hmm. you are asking, Mister Odua, is how do you want you to answer that kind of question now? I just. As where are we going to learn it from? He that is know. where I ask. He doesn't know now. How do you want him to know this kind of question? You know, the question you know, uh, is dragging us back. You know, please. Uh, Musa Odua, Musa Odua, people go to school, and uh, even people that don't go to school, they know you call it common sense. You call it common sense. People, place, people, you know, they, exactly. People have headache and go to chemists and buy. Who told who taught them that, that is the way to that, that is the way to what to do? It's common sense now. You have all okay. those things for emergency. Can, let's move on, please. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. F. Manuel. Thank you for your uh, submission. I would like to hear from uh, Mr. A, uh, Felix. It's good to have you on the show. It's been a while. Good evening to you, sir. Please talk to us. Good evening, my beloved brother. I greet you. I greet all my fellow panelists. Uh, our beloved comment session. May you talk well, brother. We bless you. They sleep, you know. Not, not I know they. I know they. I know they sleep. Oh, you they hear me now? Uh, talk to us well. Thank you, sir. Okay, I say I greet everybody, both the panelists and the comment session. For what I come meet we una they discuss about about Alemuyema. The mistake have already been made. The only thing we can't do there, we say. You should open a board, any bank you want to use to sell some to, to, for, for people to be shareholders. With that, if there are many investors that invest in the company, they will be able to acquire more, more, more flights for other routes, like other Europe countries, not the only UK, like Nigeria has day. Other Europe country day. It's just like Air France now. Just like Alitalia before before Alitalia started to become the Italia airlines started to become Africa countries. They merge with other like Air France, Qatar, Emirates, and others. Do business with other airlines. If other Nigeria airlines, they can be the, 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 the owners are willing to merge with them. Find a good. But if they are not willing to merge with to merge with them. Make you open a board just like a shareholder, any bank we want to use. If, if anybody that have 500 naira, 1000 naira, 100,000, any, any, any amount of share where you want to buy, you buy. It will make the more stronger because 
if public invest for the company, just like the way we, one of the panelists said before, you know, fee buy share for first bank. You say you want to go to the bank, your money for access bank or other bank. Now bank we for get share, we, we be shareholder. All your money now there. Now you go to the like the bank and put. Now what we me you see for the OT? Now it be that one. Now now what you go feel resolve your problem. We the go on now. The mist the mistake already already be done because. Not be everything we must see. We, we want to see we go on. Now you go talk rich house. Now, how many meet we, we trap cash carry rich house? Now you go, now you go call county for rich house. The mistake already been made. As, it, as the mistake, it already, they don't, it already made the mistake. We know, we don't need to blame her. It's human. Human are bound to make a mistake. Now, solution. Because I can say it's one of the Nigeria airline now uh, where we say it don't it don't still go international. Uh, we have to back him up with all our all our finances to support him, uh, invest on, on the airline to make sure say he grow. Not be like Nigeria Airways where they go pen flights. Now 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 Nigeria government so we will come in to make everything easy for us. Uh, if not to your make policy, we go favor uh, to make and grow just like the way they if they make we then go take the grow we make many people invest on that go take. For the old thing we your day grand so even though say me everybody invest for the company now, nah, we tell say Nigeria government not to come in. If Nigeria government no make better policy, we go favor for the growth of the company. Nothing where you go invest, where you go make and grow. Now, what do you mean for the matter? I greet you, my beloved brother. Thank you for everything you do for our country. Thank you, my brother. Thank you so much. It's good to hear your voice again today. God bless you, my brother. Thank you. Yes, the service. Sorry, can I ask this guy a question? Uh, yeah, go ahead. Just one, just one second, please. Uh, he talked about Nigerians investing in uh, Oyema's uh, LPs, blah blah blah, and all that. I don't think that is Oyema's major challenge because the guy is even buying more flights. You understand? As moreover, all the flight uh, for foreign carriers that will be patronizing all these days, does it mean that Nigerians are buying shares from there? Does it mean that Nigerians are investing in all those air, international air carriers that, 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 that are country that, people invest in it? Over the years? Yeah, that, that, that is the answer I wanted to give to him now. The, their citizens yeah. invested in them. Their citizens and their government invested in them. But you know that this Oyema's home is fully purchased. It, 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 it's not something that uh, uh, maybe government is partnering with him and all that. Is fully sir, owned, all other countries thing. purchase. Hello, sir. Other country purchase. They make it for all their citizens as many want to involve to involve in it so that it will be useful for the country. That is how that country did it. In, ad in, ad in addition to that, if Nigeria government no intervene for the refinery where they got to build, Una shall say it go fee build them. Is the question. All right. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Let's move on. Let me hear from somebody else. Uh, I'd like to come to Oga in CBD. Thank you very much sir, for joining us. Uh, good evening to you. Please talk to us. Yes. Good evening. Thank you. I don't know if you can hear me <coughs> clearly. Yes, we can. We can. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Thanks to everyone, the panelists and the listeners, everybody in the comment section. Uh, the great mommy diaspora, our sister Irene Finest, the finest woman woman on the uh, internet so well um the thing is that 
I, I, I take the position also of uh, Mr. Jonathan. I, to be honest, I don't know where all these talks of uh, he made the mistake. You know, I don't know where all those talks is coming from. Uh, I think we, some of us don't understand the influence and the power of the media. You need to understand that even right now, Israel is being put under pressure to uh, to end the war, you know, to end the war in uh, uh, they are in the war in, uh, in Palestine because of uh, media losing the media war. You need to understand that a lot of things would have happened if not for media pressure. So, in fact, I'm of the opinion that the man should make sure that once any single thing happens, the next day they should have people all over the media, internet, social media, everywhere, talking because. That is the economy. That's the world we live in. We live in. We are living in an attention-driven economy. So you need to understand. That's why people are doing anything to be relevant uh, online. You understand. So Alan Onyema, whoever is advising him, I think they've done a very good good job. The man needs to be out there every time talking. Just the same way the man of landmark now is out there. This is the only thing the elites fear. You need to understand that if your enforcement, they have, uh, they are untouchable. Uh, those ones can't touch them. If you're talking about uh, 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 what's it called? So it's only media that image. They still care about how they are perceived. They still want to make people feel like they are liked, or they are. They, they still want people to feel like. Uh, is you want to feel like people uh, uh, can't see what they are doing. So you need to understand that that is it for you to be on talking about all these things, or maybe on the media talking about these things. That is what they fear the most, and especially the foreign uh, carriers. You know, you need to know how the West uh, uh, project themselves on the world that they are these upright, blameless, and very human defender people. So if he's able to talk about what they are doing, he's going to also curtail some of the excesses. All these times, all these other uh, uh, media, uh, well, no, no, sorry, all these other, um, uh, uh, you know, airlines that attempted the same thing that didn't succeed, how many of them came online? People like uh, Medview, uh, what was it called? United Airline. They ask, you think uh, Airpiece is the only company that have tried to go that route or go international is not the only one they've tried a lot of people have tried and they failed in fact Kiyama was saying the other time that the only reason why uh, LP succeeded in this is because of his bullish approach I don't I'm saying that in the press conference he said the only reason he succeeded is because of his bullish approach without caring the man has been a very quiet and patient man but he understood that hey this thing cannot work like this so he came out with that bullish and that forceful approach that no we cannot continue to uh, be like this and he came out and he has he was very very clever in all of his interviews i've watched he never mentioned any top person's name in fact everybody everything that's why i'm surprised where we are saying he made a mistake because every single uh, uh, um, arm of government or representative of government that is mentioned is talking about how those people don't really know exactly what's going on on the ground. Those people are giving him the support. He praised Keamo of uh, going to Gatwick and telling them that if you do this here, we will also re uh, reciprocate. He praised the president for giving him the enabling environment. Everything. Is that uh, someone that is very early and uh, you know, he's very intelligent, the way he has been conducting himself and talking. So he just needs for us, he, what he did is trying to open the eye to see what exactly people have, you know, uh, where our problem is coming from. And the only thing we Nigerians should be talking about is patriotism, embracing our own. And also, we're talking about all this... Uh, What's it called? The people at the on ground, the staffs, so all those people, the way they treat uh, the people in the airport. Those are not the people that will determine if airpiece will operate or not. So if, if uh, the presidency uh, uh, support 
looking for bribe of I don't know how much, 10,000 naira at the airport. So, so those are not the people who go back to beg. So we just need to call, and those, right, the way those people are faceless people, who know any of them. So that's for that. I believe the man is doing fantastically well, and I believe that everybody that uh, understands media will know that he's doing very well because media puts pressure on all these people. That's the power of media, social media and uh, mainstream media. Then uh, another, uh, let uh, Pope, uh, is it Junior Pope? You see, unfortunately, uh, there's a lot of carelessness in some of uh, these industries or just like the culture generally in Nigeria, people don't care about a lot of Videos. But we cannot be blaming him for that because, to be honest with you, someone can be as careful as everything and just something from somewhere can claim that person's life. At the same time, we should also not make it easy for uh, the enemies that want to see you gone. Don't make it easy for them. Make sure you take care of yourself. And uh, the man, um, you know, uh, the, the life, life jacket is a must. I'm even surprised. And this the uh, Hollywood was the man that is in charge of the group. The man came out and they said they are banning movies in riverine areas. Is that how to respond to things? So we get does it happen? People will see matter. It's just your own carelessness and not having safety measures. It's not about the water. Water is everywhere. Water is there. Water will not move because people, uh, can, you know, uh, fell into it. So it's about you having safety measures, make sure that nobody goes on water that doesn't know how to swim. Or even if you don't know how to swim and you want to go on water, you must have people that know how to swim around you in case you fall in. And you must also have your life jacket on. So those are the lessons that people can learn from these things not uh, oh we are banning we are stopping movies that is being acted in, river, in, in riverine areas that does not help anything that's just eye service you know and uh, the, the, the 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 superstitious or should i say i don't know spiritual whatever people believe is also part of the reason that our brother is not there today what is that they brought out of what No, I don't know if there was any CPR or if there was an attempt to resuscitate him, I don't know. But after taking him to the next place, everybody knows directly when they've confirmed that, oh, this man looks like he had life in him. The next place should have been straight to the hospital. But their Babala mind did not allow them. They carry him said they're going to go and do this thing. What kind of thing is that? Because these are the, these, these people, the, the reason why that man is not there, to be honest, it's not like we are pointing the blame at one particular person. Everybody involved uh, is, you know, can also be blamed. But the next place we going straight to the hospital and uh, and all that. And the man who posted the, <laughs> the whatever, the, the, the pic, quite unfortunate, but although, he's, you know, they wanted to make people stop, uh, 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 you know, um, coming up with their own stories just wanted people to be wrong call from him because now that picture will be on the internet forever that video but uh, i think we should not uh so much point too much fingers on uh, some of these other people and we talk about safety and people prioritizing the safety of you know whatever they are doing wherever you're going don't just you know this thing of somebody you just want to go somewhere because of the way you have been raised you find someone who just say, ah, nothing will happen. We can just go there or just do, uh, just say a few words of prayer. Hey, nothing, you go. No, people should be careful. The places you go, All the right. food you eat, everything. All Mr. right, Mr. Sibidi. Mr. Yeah, go yes, ahead. Can, can I, can, can, can I ask you what you just say now? Go ahead. Okay, let's okay. Let's yeah. look also the igno let's look also the ignorance of uh, territorial spirits. You know, life generally life is spirit. Life is uh, uh, spiritual. We have the spiritual 
part of the land, the owners of the land, we have the owners of the air, we have the owners of the water, water, water places. So whatever we're doing, we should be conscious of the territorial spirits. Because if you look at those that are building bridges across deep waters, you think it's ordinary? It is not. If you see flight flying, uh, flying, uh, disappear, disappearing the air, you think it's ordinary? It is not. So if you see accidents happening on the road, some of them are not ordinary. So life generally is spiritual. So we should be conscious and also have that in mind that there are territorial spirits. That is the point I want to add. All right. Thank you. Okay, uh, uh, for those 30 seconds, Mr. Evans. Uh, we need to have our final submission now. If, 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 okay, if you will give it time. There's something Mr. ICB said that I wanted to just um, just respond, just a short time. You see, right. when Pastor Kayamu came out to say that uh, Mr. Allen was bullish, it's not because of the media expose. It is the ticket. It is the ticket. He, he, he bullied them into opening their cheap, cheap tickets. It's not the media. So what, what, I, what I was saying is, before you go to the media, that's why they say they, they script something. Even the president that is so intelligent, they do a script before he goes. If he speaks off the cuff, he could say things that have consequences. I don't have a problem in media. Media can build a brand. Media can also destroy a brand. It, is, it depends on what you say in the media. So he's being bullish, was bringing, forcing them to bring out the cheap version of their tickets. Not the media. He was. He, 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 I think he said the approach. He okay. didn't specify whether media or you know. Okay. Um. Yes. If you have anything to say, you can say that on your finance submission. I appreciate every one of you. Thank you so much, Mother Iris Finance. I can see you right there with us. Thanks for your time with us. Wisdom. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Johnson Emmanuel. Shooks or quite thank you very much. God bless you all. Thank you very much, my wonderful people. Okay, uh, Mr. Jonathan, please give us your final submission. Four minutes, sir. Mr. Evis, please. Sorry, sorry to intervene. To don't worry, I'll Aaron. come to you, sir. You to no, get no, you. no, no, I ju ju just read my message. I'm leaving, please. Okay, okay, that's fine. Then, thank you, sir. Yeah, yeah, thank you very much. Okay. God bless you, Mr. Jonathan. Please go ahead. Four minutes. Okay, Mr. Jonathan is not available right now. We'll come back to you. Uh, let me come to Mr. Odua. Mr. Odua, please give the us word that I want to leave. Let him speak so that I can I will follow him. Mr. Odua, please you talk to us now. You know, okay, Mr. okay. Mr. I thought because he, he will give him so that he will talk before he leaves. Okay. Um no, 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 what I want to that. say. Hello, can we hear me? Yeah, go ahead, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. Uh, I have to something to say. Like for the why I asked where do we uh, I asked uh, our, our chairman Emmanuel that where do we Nigeria learn something from? Because the time that the schools that they are saying Nigeria we have school we have school the ten people have not even yet for that school. Our fathers who were in the village mm, touched people when something like this happened. This is how you have to press water after pressing use fire to hit the leg, make sure the, so that those water will drill out of it. But since now we have schools, we have schools, what are we not learning from the schools? Because the schools are supposed to teach you this practical of these things. Why people taught their children from the schools, not from their mother's home only. They taught them from the school. And people learn different, different things that they are using to make life. Those who know, teach people in the right way to teach them. Because when people gather and you are teaching everybody, they will learn the same time. But in Nigeria, we say we have schools. What they only teach us is the language. Then they will give you paper and said you are not a graduate or whatever. So that is why I ask, where do Nigeria supposed to learn it from? Because there are schools that did not see what is bringing. Then the second one is the business. Sir, this is how other countries are doing it that we are seeing. When they have this business, they put it out. The whole the countries, especially those total people, like I can give an example of Nigeria now. We have OB OB Kubana there. We have Hotel Dollar there. We have others and others who are not really into this business of airline, but they have the money. And maybe one person cannot have that money that we do a such thing. 
But if these people put money, money, money together, and the name under Alex Uyema, Alex will all be the figurehead. Then the F, uh, whatever name you will call it will be more cheaper and cheaper to the extent that people who live in Sokoto want to come and fly it. People who live in Kafasha want to come and fly it. People who live in uh, China want to fly it to take it to Nigeria. Because the, the money and the standard flight are there. But when one person believes that he's the offer and no mega, jealousy will brought the business down. Okada Airline, known as a Benedion, was once an airline in Nigeria. It was one person that brought it down. But if it is for the whole uh, Bende state that was that airline, the, the person who brought it down will not be able to do it. So let us be aware of how business work. This is why we are saying, God make the channel this one, God make the one. Is there any Nigeria who are there when God make give the channel, their people the money? No. But people come together in unity and make a country great. So let's all work in unity and make our business work out. Thank you. All right, Mr. Odua. Thank you, sir. God bless you. Thank you. Okay, Mr. F. Emmanuel, please give us your final submission for me, sir. Then I'll come to Mr. Ike. Well, what I would say, Mr. F, is for us to patronize our own. That's all. Let's stop all this politics. If we like, we'll talk from money to tomorrow. Let's concentrate. Nobody will, nobody will fix your home for you, except you. So if you keep looking outside and expect, uh, you know, our economy to be better, we are making a, 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 a great mistake. So let's focus on our own made products, our own made goods, our own made uh, services, and take it off from there because there are little or no little or that the government can do. Government has limited tenor, they also have limited resources. So there are a lot that whom all, all of us can put our head together and you know support what we have uh, to instead of looking outside. Because what you are looking for support is your support. So let's you know put all our hands on deck and make it work. Let's forget tribalism, forget religious, forget any other thing. It's our own made product. So let's get it done and you know this guy will be our stepping stone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. God bless you. Okay, uh, let me come to uh, Mr. Ike. Please give us your final submission, sir. Uh, four minutes. All right. Thank you, Thank you for the opportunity again. Um, look, uh, yeah, I want to go back a little bit into what I said before. You see, people like Adenuga, you know that Adenuga's glow is not PLC. He's not, he's not selling. He didn't open his company to everybody to buy shares. He didn't. And he was actually forced if you check from his banco, from Kono Yilo, you see that the guy closed it up and, and he's running it. But have you ever seen that man on the television before? Never. Everything, if you want to run a corporate organization, you must employ professionals to do everything. There is something called public relation officer, PRO. There are some things they will come, they will say, ah, oh God, you know for talk and reach like this. It's, it's it's intelligence. It's not. It's it's everywhere. It's everywhere. So so that you don't you don't use what would have helped bring loyalty to you. The thing will not drive away people because of. There are sometimes they even watch what president say. When president is going out to talk, there are so many intelligence that are shared with presidents. When they come, they will first of all discuss it in-house, manage the one that can go to the public and the one that cannot go to the public. That's how corporate, big corporate organizations are run. If you go, that's one of the things that finished Trump. If he, Mr. Jonathan is here, he, whatever that Trump went through was the things he said with his mouth. They are the things he said with his mouth. This ABC will call for interview, he will go and sit. This person will call for interview. Journalists are, are, are professionals that can dig out something that you never intended to say when you go and sit down with them every time. I'm telling you, 
you can you can you can release press statements press statements people sat down to draft it put dot all the t's cross all the uh, uh, dot all the i's cross all the t's and then they release press statements but when you sit down again and again and again you could go beyond what you're supposed to say and it could destroy your business that's what i saw in this whole thing he had a good case but he went too much to the public. He, he, he didn't have any professional touch in all those media interviews. They can call you to say congratulations on what happened. If you see when he was discussing this thing on Arise, I watched that particular one. When they asked him, he said, I don't want to go back into what I went through uh, 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 the past seven years. I thought the man wasn't going to go back into them and they immediately opened them and started saying them. You understand he has to he has to employ professionals you know the things to put up in the public you know the things to manage in-house so that this business can grow i like air peace unfortunately they've not started flying we'll be we'll be praying here our friends here will be saying oh we can't wait for air peace to start flying uh, houston we can't wait but there are still some management of the things you put out in the public Social media, like we say now, social media can destroy. Social media can build too. Anything you don't put up on your Facebook page, nobody will know. People have their secrets and they don't put it up. They don't put it up. They manage it to say, this one cannot go. This one can go. Because people will start probing. If you give one answer, they will ask you another one. Before you know what is happening, you'd have let out something that is not supposed to go to the public. So his war should be one to manage the costings. It, it is, it, why ticket is too expensive from Nigeria is because of taxes. Taxes are the things that are driving ticket fees in Nigeria. People go to Ghana and fly from Ghana to the US. It's the taxes that are causing all of these things. But these other airlines, they have advantage. They have advantage, they have multiple routes. They have multiple routes that they go to. So, so don't, don't, don't polarize the business. Don't drive people that would have supported you by the things you said. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Ike. Thank you very much. God bless you, sir. Thank you. Okay. Um, let me move on now. Uh, I think everybody on the panel I've given, except two that just coming in now. So Black Panther, thank you very much for joining us, but I'm only going to give you five minutes and Oga Chris five minutes so we can round up. Uh, Black Panther, please my last submission. Thank you, my Mr. CBD. Okay, my... after Black Panther, I'll come to you for your final submission. Thank you. Thank Go you, ahead. Elvis. You can hear me clearly. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Thank you. Uh, I want to thank everybody that has. Black Panther, we can't hear you. You are post. Can you hear me now? Yeah, go ahead. This network is doing magic here. Uh, I, wa I want to thank um, everybody that has spoken. And uh, I want to thank Mr. Was that Mr. Ike that was speaking? Yes. Okay, Mr. Ike, God bless you. I want to thank Mama in Diaspora. Thank you very much, ma'am. May God continue to bless you and prosper you. Give you good health. In Jesus' mighty name. I want to say one thing. I am in 1,000% agree with Mr. Ike. You see, most of us have lost, we have lost track with the Nigerian corrupt attitude and information management. You see, the first time he came, Mr. Alex Enyema came out. He spoke well but there are some things you need to retrieve that you don't blow it all out for the public it is left for your management team to manage it and try as much as possible to reduce what you bring out to the public because there's what we call that that there are some mafias system who don't want nigeria to fly those those routes because of their monetary benefit and their monetary benefit 
is running in the millions of pounds. That is why. Black Pata, you, we have an issue with your network, man. Scattered all over the place. You can imagine airline like Chachangi is grounded. Bellevue is no more. Um, uh, there's, uh, there's one other one, Aero Contractor barely flies anymore. We are aviation, you know, the strong aviation uh, 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 companies that have been brought down by this mafia thing that is happening in Nigeria. Nigeria is such a very delicate thing. Corruption is an institution. What Alex Oyema was fighting against was the corruption. But one thing he had in his hand, the Nigerian government, through the aviation minister, are backing him. It might not be 100%, but I'm seeing a 65% backup by the government. But now what happened? Information management and what the staff did concerning the price splash, I don't think it was the right time to supply that price. Because now what happened? The entire European airline and the Asian airline, they gag up and they are pumping money, corrupt money into the, the enclave that are supporting them. He released another thing again. There's, it's not everything that you're doing in your aviation that you should release to the public. There are some things they call the ace that you keep. You keep on using it without not even telling the public. You have to balance yourself in that route and as you spread your tentacle and get more flight, then you can start bringing things in which you can do commensurate with your pricing that if you get this the price go down if you are a member of this the price go down you don't just splash like that which we all know how the system work in in america in europe how they bring down prices this is now the price mafias have come in now they are coming down we so know what they are Black playing Panther, can you hear me can you hear me Okay, I don't understand. You say you agree with Mr. Ike on his submission. You agree that Mr. Alan Oyema shouldn't have come out to speak to Nigerians. Is no, 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 not coming out to speak to Nigeria. So he didn't manage agree? his... I agree that he didn't manage information dissemination very well. How? See, Mr. Niger Watch, it is not everything... Your voice, we are that, losing your voice. It's going and coming, going and coming. Can you hear me now? Your voice is going and coming. It's the network. It's, it's the okay. network. Okay, go ahead. Can you, can you hear me now? What yes, I am, definitely. what I am, what I am in support is, I am not in support is that he did not manage information very well. And if he had managed information very well, he shouldn't be coming out every time to the media to talk. Yes, it's good for him to disseminate information, but he shouldn't be doing it often. Oh, they bite so me. So, I'll come out so and say they bite me. Stop, should, so for you now, you should stop talking, right? It should stop talking now. It should go and do the inner work, inner manipulation. The bureaucracy should go and work on it properly so that he, he don't come he don't come out talking and opening so, the secret so then have you, have, of, have you have you owned a flight before or run any airline before in b it's his business it's general business it's not it's no a matter of the business. flight look it's not there are some things you are saying okay let me give you an example I'll I'll now. Yema now how to run a, a business right no it's not it's look i'm not telling you how to run a business there is a one cut one part of business is called information management. That's what I'm saying. So you know more uh, uh, about information management than Alenoyema, is that right? We are not putting hierarchy in it. 
The for if you don't manage your information, the forces that are that are fighting you will come in full force and they will organize themselves and come in full force with the government backing them, they'll bring you down. All right. If they if it's brought down now, what will you say? What will we say? All of all, what are we going to say? And somebody is bringing a point of we buying shares, which is very good. But who are going to buy the shares? Who are the people that are going to buy the shares? Because they do their manipulation again. See, this Nigeria as a nation, eh, corruption is an institution. I think we need to realize this very well because if corruption is an institution, you need to learn and bring all this financial management into place. It has a big role that it can play for a successful business in Nigeria. When you know that you are running a multi-billion dollar business, it is not, it's not easy. It, the man is finding it very difficult now because he himself knows that things are running around, but they need to manage information for him, give him a look at what he's going to speak on and what kind of question they are going to ask him because he's paying for this press briefing, this press is paying to them. So they, they need to organize the question for him so that he doesn't run at a loss at the end of the game. Like in, in other countries, like, like in America now, they, if you fly the airline for a certain time, there is a point, point to accumulate. And that point, if you are committed to a certain, it will buy you a lower ticket. Are you getting me now, Niger Watch? Yes, yes, I understand. Yes. Those things you buy a ticket, you can you can man you can manipulate your prices like that. But when you come in a full force, this thing is a it's a like a mafia business. People have big they have big money to, to fight. Okay. It's not a choice play. So, but I to love me, what he's doing. To me, I love to what be he's honest, doing. To me, to be honest, I don't think any of us here. Uh, have the moral to pass advice to Aledo Yema because before he cried out, he must have passed through a lot, and they have been passing through a lot for so for 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 years. So for me, for any of us to come now and advising him, you talk too much. You should have talked too much. Should have kept it secret. You should have handled it this way. Should have like somebody that have been that that have been in uh, uh, airline business for 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 decades. Even in government, in every government in the whole world, even in UK where you are, the government manage information. Businesses, pharmaceutical, they manage their information. They don't come out to tell you every oppression they are facing, which is coming out from the government. They don't come out like that. They manage information. That's why they have the information desk. They have all the protocols around them. They garnish it and dose it out at the right time. So it should well, die. I'm not saying... It should, it should I'm not die. saying you should die with the, the with the secret and be buried oh, Mr. before you know oh, that you was are not getting it right. You are not getting it. You are not getting so us what right. What do you want him to manage now? You are talking about manage information, manage information. Did he receive, re review a presidential secret? See, Mr. Niger, Mr. Niger, watch. See, they, you cannot you cannot do without information management when you are running a multi billion dollar business. You can't do without it. Whether you go left, whether I'm telling you advice, he knows what I'm speaking about now. He okay. cannot do without it. All right. Let me hear from somebody else. Thank you, um, Black Panther. Maybe somebody else might make us understand much better. The, uh, let me come to Guy CBD. Give us your final submission. Four minutes before I come to uh, Mr. Chris. Guy CBD is not with us anymore, right? Oh, he left. Okay, good. I didn't even check. Uh, Mr. Chris, please talk to us. Sir. Good evening to you. Five yeah, minutes. And okay. Up. And thank you very much. And good evening, Mr. Nanjavoch. And all protocols duly observed and because of the time. And thank you yesterday for the panelists that you brought, especially Chief Eholon. Well, I think uh, the issue of um, Alan Oyema, uh, it's nothing we should make any fuse about. And also, I do not believe that it is because of what he said or what he didn't say. Even if he likes, he should keep quiet from today to tomorrow. Even if he talks like a parrot, 
what are we actually expecting? Do you expect those other airlines, they should just fold their hands and be looking at you? It's a capitalist system. The other airlines, they reacted the way normal businessmen should react. So it is not left for you to come up with countermeasures against whatever they have done. And there are so many things that can be done to counteract whatever they have done. It's price war. It's simple as A, B, C, D. So even if he had kept quiet, you, you expect British Airways and the other airlines, they'll just be looking without reacting appropriately. It is business. It's not everything will be crying like crybabies. Every time conspiracy and theories left, right, and center. So he should also come up, or the government or whoever it is, they should come up and also support him. That's why these Western nations, they have funds for ensuring that businesses that employ their indigenous, businesses that keep their economies afloat, they have funds for supporting these businesses. And if we um, have such funds also, if they've not and stolen everything, it's opportunity to give Alain Oyema some funds that he will be paying, paying back in like 20, 30 years with almost 0% interest. There's this, uh, 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 what, is, what is they call again, the the SS crude account that Amechi and uh, Oshomole forced Jonathan to spend then. These are part of the things you can do with such funds. You know, even in Europe, within Europe, can't you see the way airlines they regulate their affairs? You can, the, the same route that uh, uh, Lufthansa will be flying for like 250 euro. You see Ryan Air will be flying that sailing for as low as 40 euro. There are times, yes, like Ryan Air, they fly from Dublin to the UK. At times, one pound, one. I mean one pound. Whereas that same route, Virgin Atlantic will be flying 120 pounds. At times, as low as one pound, one. They do that. It's all business. So these one people are just saying on Yema crashed, uh, they crashed the price to frustrate on Yema. So you expect them to fold their hands and be looking. We have to react appropriately. It's a global war. It's a, a global economic market. Everybody should wake up to the responsibility. These are not just businesses for little boys, you know. So it has nothing to do with whatever he has said. Even if he has not said, they will still discover his strategies. So the question now we should be asking ourselves, now that Unyema is in this quagmire, so what is he going to do? How is he going to free himself from this? Is he going to get necessary support from his own country? Or is he going to get necessary support from stakeholders? Let's not forget, when MTN started in Nigeria, SIM card, SIM card. I bought my first SIM card for like 17,000 Naira. And then people were, when the government, they were telling MTN to make their call per second billion. MTN said it would take five years. Then if you make one call for one minute, even if the connection, if you lose your connection, you lose your money. Then it was like 45 naira per, per, per minute. But it was when glow came. Immediately good glow came. Good glow started per second billing. And then thing that told us that we take them five years, all of a sudden they started doing per second billing. Glow came and that same SIM card in the same 17,000 first it came to 13,000 naira. Then later it came to... No, but my Chris, it was 24,000. My Elo bought it 24,000. No, I, I said I actually bought my own 17,000. I remember then, and that's the that seventeen thousand. Then that was over a hundred. It was like a one fifty, I be one hundred and seventy dollars to buy a SIM card. No matter what they told them, to, and then they said it's not doable. It will take them five years. To, and how did they even do that? Is it not still our people that gave them that a sexy a, a sexy freedom to come and be oppressing their own people? So that's the way business is. So it was when Glow came into the into the fray of that uh, uh, global communication. Immediately per second billing started. Immediately the uh, uh, SIM card started, the price of SIM card started crashing. And no government the regulatory agency, the NCC, they couldn't even bring MTN to call that. But new people said you cannot do this thing, we take you five years. How come Glow came, you are not doing it immediately? Nobody, no consumer protection, nothing, nothing. They just allow those people to go to the extent MTN was so rich that they have to relocate their, their, their national headquarters to Nigeria. Their worldwide headquarters, they have to relocate it to Nigeria. 
then we are so rich then. So these are the way business is, that we should learn to compete, not just complain, 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 complain. There are a lot of things Mr. Yema can do at this time. There are economic experts, there are people in the aviation industry that knows how these things work. They should bring incentive. They should ensure from the side of the government, government can start that no matter what happens. Now, everybody, every government official must fly a, a piece. That's number one. Another incentive government can also institute. There's a tax that uh, every foreign airline pay to Nigeria. So they can whip that tax away for Allen Onyema so that it can be able to compete. For example, if that tax is supposed to be a million dollars a year, they can waive it for Ale Noyema so that with that tax, he can also force his own price down. There are many ways, give and take, to do all these things. It's business, it's capitalist, it's dog eats dog, it is jungle. Nobody waits for you. It's how businesses are done everywhere. Even we that are talking, just imagine you, you, are, you, you, you are doing your personal business, you are selling shoes somewhere. And somebody came from nowhere and the person started, the shoe you have been selling 5,000, the person now selling it 1,000. Are you not going to react? You will react. Must we keep blaming people every time? So uh, that's just my humble submission. Should leave this thing for the experts so that they can handle um, whatever they can, how, how, however they can do it. It, it. it shouldn't just be, we have so many brains in Nigeria that it can consult. I have so many brains in Nigeria that you can consult. We have them everywhere. The banking sector, in the uh, communication sector, even in the legal sector. There are legal frameworks that you can draw from. And from that, you can keep his business uh, rolling afresh. This, uh, this uh, 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 British report, the Western, or even the Japan, do you think they are crazy or they are stupid? That is why if you see airline, no airline runs on its own. I'm sure Yema does not belong to any of these alliances. There is Star Alliance, for example, where you have Egypt, another group of airline. Then there's another one again, Fly, Fly Blue. You have KLM, you have Air France, you know. Then there's another route again where you have uh, Lufthansa and uh, uh, SAS, Scandinavian Airliner. So there are a group of airlines, maybe 15, 17, they form a union so that they can regulate their prices within themselves because these people, they monopolize the routes. So Island Oyema, a good place to start. Maybe he can look of look at how he can uh, find himself in one of these groups. That is how they run the airlines. That is exactly what they do. That is how they are able to bring their prices down. And there's uh, uh, this membership thing Blank Panther was talking about. You know, for example, uh, Lufthansa. You, you, you register and you become a member. I think it's the Star Alliance. For every time you fly, you get flying miles and you accumulate these miles and you know, it helps to bring down your price. In Lufthansa, it is called miles and more. I remember that because that's the one I use every time. So miles and more, you accumulate miles and after. So, so because of that, you are forced to use the airline every time because if you go and use another airline, you will lose miles. So because of that accumulation of miles and more, you will always be coming back to Lufthansa every time. Because you want to build up your flying miles, not just reduction of price. There's a place your miles will get to if you do you have if you if you are transiting, you have access to uh, to business lounge and stuff like that. And if you go to duty duty free shops, you are able to shop with your miles, uh, miles and more uh, wherever you can shop, whatever you are buying, you can get um, offers and so many things. So because of that, you are attracted to that airline. So that could just be one uh, aspect that Alain Onyema should look at. But all in all, I think this should be given to the experts to handle. No matter what we say here, it's just speculation and something to chew about. Sanjay thank you and good evening. Thank you. Thank you, Oga Chris. Thank you, sir. Uh, let's hear uh, from uh, ECBD. If you are there, that's at least four minutes. Yes, thank you so much. I don't know if you can hear me. Thank you. Yes, go ahead. Yes, uh, well, uh, I think uh, my brother Chris uh, said a lot of uh, very important uh, things. Then at the same time, um, you see, I, most of the things were 
you know, trying to just come up with the best uh, possible scenarios from our own perspective or our own opinions. But I'm sure these people are, uh, you know, there's no way we know the terrain more than the people who are operating in it. And I'm sure they are trying to come up with uh, everything possible for them to remain in the market. But we're also not going to be oblivious or act like we don't know that um, uh, that uh, they, they, they prefer to be in charge of our own economy, these external forces. Because uh, if that's the case, if we say that that does not exist, then Africa should be uh, flying very high right now. But all over the continent, you can find the footprints of um, all these foreign organizations or whatever that actually feel like they are the ones that should produce and give to you that you don't have the rights to stand up for yourself and uh, produce your own thing. And uh, we cannot be apolo apolo apologists for all these kind of things because every country in the world that have been able to come out of this uh, uh, dependency on foreign um, uh, goods and services all these people, they had to do it in a bullish way, the same way that uh, Onyema is doing it. You know, if you're talking about China, Russia, all these people, yeah, they had to patronize their own products. They had to put their product first. So uh, sometimes we might think that you just want to, okay, which league will someone like Epi is joining now that will want him to be in the market? Is he going to join any league that has B uh, British Airways or Virgin Atlantic or, 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 you know, all these people together in the same league? And those are the people that want him out. I need to understand how much Nigerians travel abroad. Nigerians are the most traveled people in Africa and one of the most traveled people in the world. So you need to understand that it's a very big market for them. They will do anything to... Um, make sure that no, uh, uh, you know, competition comes from the local airspace or local market, and that's why it's not. There's, it's not a coincidence that um, in Africa, in the entire Africa, you just have a handful of functioning uh, uh, African-owned uh, air carriers. They are very few. So there's something going on, and the man is trying to come out of it, and he's calling the attention. Everybody, rise up and claim your own. It's a conscious thing. We need to start thinking consciously whether we want to continue being uh, uh, slave-minded or if we want to build our own thing. That's just how I see it, because we cannot keep on, uh, uh, you know, uh, trying to make excuses for these people. Yes, there is a way to play the game. But if they don't want you in the game at all, what are you supposed to do? What are you supposed to do? So you have to be able to stand up, uh, uh, you know, you know, for yourself. And I believe that the man is taking the right approach. To be honest with you, there's nothing he's saying that I've seen wrong so far. He's, uh, he's not disrespecting anybody, any person in authority. He's talking, he's even commending them, how they're supporting him. He's only talking about the implementation of some certain things on the ground level. But which some of those guys on uh, you know that are the helm are not aware of. He even talked about the fan uh, director that even said no, they shouldn't treat them this way. But still, her own staffs. There's somebody that he said that they called. They said you know the CEO or the director of so 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 is on this flight, and the person said that and so what. So you need to understand that that kind of a mentality. So we need now start going to look for all the, I don't know how many thousand employees of a fan and all those people start saying, okay, this is your own share. It, you know, it doesn't make sense. So as long as from the top is being supported, every other person should use their head and nobody, you cannot bribe everybody. So you can't bribe everybody. This is just slave mentality and this is just something that we are doing against our own selves. And we need to uh, we need to stop that. The man have tried his best, and he knows he understands the field. And uh, I think uh, I'll just leave it that. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much, um, Mr. ECBD. I appreciate every one of you, my wonderful people. Yes, we've come to the end of this broadcast. It's been uh, 
uh, a long day for me because I've been in the Mr. Najawash. Mr. Najawash, yes. I wanted yes, to sir. ask you a question. Go ahead. Okay, thank you. Uh -huh. You said that uh, no, we are not uh, qualified of uh, giving advice or whatever to Alex Onyema. Uh, I want to ask, is it because uh, 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 young people cannot give advice to old people or those who are outside the business, outside of business cannot see what is strong and give advice, uh, advice to those inside the business? Is that why no, you said that? I didn't say that. We are, I, I didn't say we are not qualified. We are not in the best position to give a business advice for Alain uh, Yema, and most especially this airline uh, business. That's what I was asking. Has anyone on this platform run an airline before? He know what is passing through, so he's crying out. Let him cry. My, my, my brother, see, it's not all about airline. Business is business, like Bob Panther said. Yeah, this business administration. The person that is doing business administration is not doing it to tell not only to airline. That is the way you manage your brand. That is the way you do it and you get good results. That's all I'm saying. Okay. All right. Um, some people will agree with you. Uh, some will disagree. So that's why we call in a panel. But for I me, totally I totally disagree. disagree. Totally disagree with all those yeah, so for of, me, of victim blaming. You know. Yeah. For me, I disagree. Uh, while a black I agree. Maybe some people on the comment section might also agree. So th that's one thing. So people agree or disagree with you doesn't mean anything at all. But for me, I think none of us on this panel. That's my opinion. None of us on this panel uh can give Ale Oyema a business advice uh, i don't believe none of us so but if you think you can that's fine i don't have a problem with that that's my opinion you know uh someone who cried out know why he cried out he's he's been on the business for decades and he cried out and he's still crying out and he's still gonna cry more and you people already say you should make it as madarita i talk and make it enter house make it not cry anymore make it go die in silence so i disagree with that but that's fine. You might be right. I'm disagreeing doesn't mean I'm right, but I disagree. You know, I believe I have the right to. So that's just it. You know, I believe that whatever anybody is passing through, just cry out, speak out. Look at uh Wigwe that died the other day. So if he was passing through in terms of business and all that, uh, passing through any tough time and he refused to speak, it would have been gone now. Nobody will know about it and probably forever. So why not? Why is he not a human being? Please let him speak. Let him speak. He's facing pressure in his own country. He's facing pressure in internationally. And you people say he should stay silent. He should be professional. It's just like people tell me sometimes on this platform. Yeah, journalists, please be professional. Just don't come, don't respond, don't do this. Am I not, I'm, am I not a human being? People should be throwing stone on my head. I'll just be quiet. No, don't talk. Don't talk. Life should be like that. That's why you say I always respect someone like Rufai. You can't throw stone at Rufai once, may not reply you. Rufai will not ever wait, make it reach two before he give you back. You know, because the human being we we, we treat you like shit if you don't speak. Go ahead. Yeah, yes, Thank you. you see, and I also think that you see this thing we might choose people choose who to uh, use as examples. You know, I think in that uh, uh, in Nigeria, it seems like a lot of us are already used to this thing of uh, people be sitting like God figures on on issues and not being able to, uh, you know, uh, to speak for their business and be mobile enough. You know? Because mm -hmm. the man is CEO; he's not put himself as founder and he go and sleep somewhere and he has a CEO. He's a CEO; is an active person in the company. His company he has not got into the level where we just go and relax and uh, he has employed the ceo to represent he is a ceo the only person he, he has coo and him is the ceo so he has to speak for his business he's employed there despite being the 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 the, the founder also and if you look at if okay which company or who is richer than someone like elon musk the man is by himself advertising his product every day on, on, on Twitter, having Twitter space, going to different interviews. So if uh, if uh, someone like, uh, uh, what's the name? Alain Onyema start appearing on YouTube channels. You people will say this man is a complete uh, 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 fool or what? Because the man, uh, Elon Musk goes to YouTube channels and speak. 
The same thing with Mark Zuckerberg. The same thing with uh, uh, Jack Ma. These are people. So what are, which examples exactly are we actually citing? So it depends on what you want to see. Elon Musk is the richest man in the world and he's still appearing on YouTube channels. So, uh, and, uh, so we should not uh, look at uh, uh, Alan Oyema as someone who has gotten to the level whereby he cannot come out and, uh, and speak for his business. He should just go and lie down somewhere. If other people want to do that and just sit somewhere as some figurehead and while they employ, they can do it. But him, he believes his business is still at the stage where he has to, for his business to, to have that ground or that strong foundation. And he's, that's why he's the CEO. That's why he did not employ a CEO. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. SBD. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Um, please, we should allow uh, Alayema to speak. You know, he's facing a lot. We don't want to make the enemy go sleep and not wake up. It's part, let him pour some out. You know, let him, let him speak. You know, that's it. Uh, Mr. Jonathan, we called you earlier. I don't know if you're still there. If you want to give your final submission. Okay, Mr. Jonathan is not available right now. Thank you very much, my people, everybody that came in. Almost four hours, that was not my plan. I wanted to do, just do two hours. If I can be doing two hours Saturday or Sunday, that would be nice, but I have not achieved it. But I believe one day we'll achieve it. Thank you very much, my people. I apologize for coming late today. So uh, it's gonna happen tomorrow and Wednesday again. But if I can round up what I'm doing, uh if everything might end up just tomorrow then wednesday will be a normal flow but monday and tuesday is certainly going to be okay but wednesday i have another appointment as well so just understand with us we might come out uh after six after six uh like we came out today but i know whenever i come out my boys right here with us so that we can continue to talk about the things that is affecting every one of us Thank you very much, my people. I appreciate every one of you that came to the panel, Mr. Jonathan Kinsley. Thank you very much, Mr. Odua. Thank you very much. I got Chris. Thank you, Mr. Ike, F. Emmanuel. I got CBD, uh, Black Panther. Thanks for coming in as well. And many others that came in that already left. Those of you that call into the show today, I appreciate you all. Thank you very much for calling in and thanks for your consistency for all you guys are doing. Thank you very much for those of you that supported the channel today. Um, Madam Naomi Bella, thank you very much. Oh, it's only you. Thank you very much. Madam Naomi Bella, thank you for doing it three times. God bless you. Thank you for those of you on the comment section. Mother of all, Mommy Diaspora, thank you very much, Mommy. Thanks for all you do. Thank you, Madam Irene's finest. I appreciate you. Thank you very much. Bob Pat, I can see right on the comment section. Mr. Johnson Emmanuel, thank you very much. Patience is demo there. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. I appreciate you all right there, man. Whatever people. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you now. Uh, we've come to the end of the broadcast right now. I got Chris. I can see you on the comments section as well. Now we've come to the end of the broadcast. I'll see you guys again tomorrow by God's grace. Uh, after six o'clock. You know, I'm, it might be as at six, but depend how long it takes me to round up. But nevertheless, we are here every day. Let's continue to talk about the things that's affecting us. You know, until we have a better Nigeria, we are going to continue to talk. Call out our government to do the right thing. We can't continue like this. The suffering is too much. It's piling up and it's unbearable. Thank you very much, my people. Now, God, now God bless you. Now, I post to press on the like button. I post to share. I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Fingers crossed. Take care and bye for now. No more bad government in Nigeria. By the world, the only media that have been, that have been consistent speaking against the bad government and for the purpose for reformers. My the world, yo! Ah. Hey. No more bad government. No more bad government. My the world. No more bad government. My the world. No more bad government. The only media that have been speaking. No more bad government. The voice of the voiceless. No more bad <laughs>